you never A little something new. We're going a little early with the uh, the crew of the YKWD. All right, so don't fucking shut things off. Don't. <laughs> don't, don't stop. You don't be what? so fucking needy either, okay? Get out of here. I was just, just kind of supporting you. Well, no. Supporting us. Well, you, yeah, you, I'm, you, you were supporting you. Well, yeah. yeah it's about in you. A, in a it's sense. all about you. <laughs> no, right? sometimes. Yeah, most of the time. Well, I've, I've seen your Instagram. Listen. I want to go early a little bit. I want to start the show a little early. We got great guests, but we got we got all the stuff we have to get through every week, and we never get to it. And plus, I uh, you know we I have a good team here, and I we never get to talk to these assholes about what's going on. And I and you know and I and it, it prevents me on the regular show from monologuing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to prevent myself from going on tangents. Oh God, is there anything worse than listening to me? I'm yeah. not going to answer. Uh, what's that? I'm not going to answer. Well, you can answer. <laughs> Seriously, go ahead, Mike. What do you think? There's a lot of things worse than listening to you. Oh, God, what a puss. He had a shot and he didn't take it. <laughs> Look at Gab, the fucking evil suspended bitch. What are you going to do, Kill Bill? What? what do you got? That's cool. What? I love Kill Bill. Yeah, I know. You liked it because I called you a fucking Kill Bill. Like the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got a bunch of stuff. First of all, creepswithkids.com, man. Uh, make sure you go to it. Tickets are selling. Uh, over half so. There's, uh, I think, 300 tickets less for Boston. There's uh, 400 tickets or 300, 300 something tickets left for Long Island. Uh, there's a, a bunch of the theaters that are selling. Reading, Pennsylvania, get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are. As a whole, it is kind of a shit city. So. Well, it, I love. I mean, no, it's, it's get- great, and they love buying tickets there. Thank you, Mike 2.0, that well, knows how to promote. Everyone there is Mexican, so. Oh, well, I'm out. Well, thank you, <laughs> my amigo. <laughs> my uh, amigo. My amigo. Mi amigo. Uh-huh. Mi amigo. Uh, yeah, we go to Reading, Pennsylvania. What is that, Chinese? What is that? Yeah, I don't know why. That's the why is that's there a... The, the, that's the thing they have. That's, that's the, the pagoda. pagoda. Yeah. What is a pagoda? Is that? It's, that, that, it's right that there. That type of building is called a pagoda. <laughs> But why, so why in China. Pennsylvania? Because they like to do that shit. And it's probably because of Bruce Lee. I'm going to say that. Listen, why? Did he live in Reading, Pennsylvania? No, he was, they're just big fans. Dude, you can't. You don't just put a pagoda because you're a fan, asshole. <laughs> their their why? baseball team is called the Fightings. What does that mean? And why are you going Fightings like you want to fight with me? Settle down, Wait, fucking owl face. I got it. Why do you know He's so much about me. Reading, Pennsylvania? Does he know Have that? Have you been there? We did a whole episode on history Oh, uh, okay. Oh, 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 very mother. Fucking okay. interesting. That, I mean, isn't it, Gab? Wow. Gab, isn't it? Did a I, little interesting. That I retain yeah. information? No, that... Oh! Mm. Now he's getting cocky because he's with funny. the fucking highest. First of all, fuck both of them. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? How's that? Retain that. How about that? How about fuck them and I'll fucking pour a Slurpee? What is it? A smoothie in their assholes? <laughs> Those cocksuckers, both of them. I have a fucking bone to pick with the hyenas. What? What? And Paul Verzi and Sal Volcano. What All happened? of them? Yes. You hate Italians. No, I love Italians. I'm oh, half well, Italian, you okay. friggin' well, I don't know. stupid sailor. Only two of them were Italian. <laughs> it's not that. I have a fucking bone to pick with all these young, oh, these young bucks and their haircuts. <laughs> And they're fades, <laughs> fucking fades. They love them. They oh, they love, love a fade. And why, why don't you like that? Because Yeah, the sneakers. That's what I want to talk about. You goddamn sneakers. Sneaker. What do they call them? Sneaker freaks? What sneaker, are you called? Sneaker heads. Shoe heads. Sneaker yeah. heads. We got Shoe one of them right here. Look at them staring me down. I'll fucking throw a boot at your head. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, you fucking weirdo. Stop being, stop being uh, weird. <laughs> Can I get up? Like he was glued to the seat. No, just yes, talking to the air. Nice. <laughs> Christopher. Yeah. Everybody doesn't know Chris. Chris is a comedian, Christoph. very funny guy, and he also designs all the fucking. Uh, if, another thing we should go to is the uh, merch baby. Merch baby. Go to the merch page right there at uh, remember, remember to, to be, be me. Happy. We're gonna be putting up a new merch thing right now. You got the YKW hoodie. We got the dude. The Buddha dude now comes with the uh, glasses. Glasses, and uh, we got the hoodie, and the we are the dudes. If anybody's wearing a We Are the Dude shirt at one of my shows, you're getting a hug. 
and you're also getting a free ticket to the next time I'm in town. So there you go. You get to I said in it. your lap. Go there right there. You get a free ticket. I will comp you and a friend of yours to my next show when I'm in town. Sick deal. Uh, there you go. Awesome. Um, go there. Anyways, um, sneakers. Je- sneakers. Yeah, these fucking guys. Are they comfortable? Yeah. No, 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 you- no, 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 and no again. Well, you that's just- my point. You didn't get one for right for your feet. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Fucking he just Dr. Scholes. What? He just called you fat. Whoa, oh, you hey. did. He <laughs> said, Whoa. first of all, your feet don't get fat, chub tits. Wow. Well, but the person's <laughs> fat. And person yeah, but your feet. feet don't get fat. That's not true. <laughs> your feet can get fat. No, they your, do. Your feet can't no, get do. fat. You show? haven't seen big bread feet? All right, show Pregnant them. feet? I, well, I'm not talking about, I don't know anything about the vagina fat. I'm talking about regular <laughs> fat. You know. Look at you can't get fat feet. Fat. Bring up fat people. They all have fat ankles, and then their feet are the same size. You That's never scary. get a fat foot. Cankles is the technical term. I'm wearing yeah. sneakers right now, and I want you to tell me if they're cool. No, I'm not getting into this. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to fucking... But they're not... They're, guess how much money they were. I don't care. This is what they're I'm n- getting away... brand I don't care. I don't want p- fucking sneaker bullies in my life anymore. Okay. Because of these fucking kids. Not you, Chris, because you've never really stuck them in my face. But these other guys... Have bullied me and made me feel shitty for my sneak. What do you get on? What do you? Oh, those are nice. They compliment my shoes, my harachis. Mm-hmm. And I, I on a, and I is. somehow exactly I somehow feel good about that. And you know what I got because of these assholes trying to impress these young cocksuckers with their shoes? Plantar fasciitis. fasciitis. We see through them, by the way. We know they're not really like in on it. Who's we? We. Who's we? I have other people who actually care about sneakers and who have cared the whole time. So you mean there's another level? Oh, yeah. So they're not even in the level. They're there's, not even... They're, they're surface not, level. They're surface level. Yes. Yeah. They're fucking, sneaker posers. That's yeah. dark. You're telling me that Sal Volcano, Chris D, Giannis, Papa 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 Wapis. Giannis and Chris are a little above, but like Voss, uh, Verzi? Sal, Verzi, I... I got to see Verzi's Closet. I haven't seen Verzi's Closet yet, but they're not really there. They started <gasps> buying sneakers when they got money. Whoa. That's interesting. So when you, so you, you to be a true sneakerhead, you got to do it when you got no cash. I was overdrawing my account throughout college just for sneakers. So you're a true sneakerhead. Yeah. Now, <laughs> but here, okay. But there's even people above me. <laughs> there's, people, Gabby, there's people way deeper than I am. Gabby's got something to say about that. Go ahead. Why would you... Overdraw your account. It's a problem. It's not. It's. It's not because I wanted to. It's called an addiction. Yeah. It's. A, there's a problem. Is it there. an addiction? Yeah. Why? Um, he was blowing dick for sneakers. <laughs> Don't do that. He was too comfortable saying blowing dick. Did you notice that? I liked it. Okay. <laughs> it made me laugh. It made me laugh, and it, he actually was like, he he said, "Don't do that." Like he told. Mike something somewhere <laughs> at a fucking open mic that somewhere. Was a I, I, came out. Yeah, like he sucked a thing. dick for a pair of Nikes. <laughs> you you sucked dick for a Jordan ones. <laughs> That's a nice shoe though. Yeah, it is a nice shoe. A nice shoe. Huh. Well, whatever with the fucking nice shoe. First of all, it takes ten years to get them on. Second of all, uh, they're thin. You have to have a thin. I'm a wide foot guy. Mm. I got to do New Balance. No, no, he I, can. I even know that no. you shouldn't do that. No, you can absolutely do new New Balance. I can't get my leg up. I have New Balance on right now. <laughs> I trust that I won't like them. I'll tell you right now, you would. I like your uh, your uh, Converse. Yeah, I think you're nice. a Converse guy. I'm, a, I'm definitely a Converse guy. I love Converse, and Converse stepped it up. They started making a comfortable shoe finally. I had to get the John Varvados because they were the more comfortable than the regular All Stars, mm-hmm. but yep. now they stepped it up. Okay, but. The, I got the New Balance to work out in. I, I, I'm i working out in these Hirachis Ugh. so that uh, I can walk around these young bucks and, and, and have them look down and give me the nod. Aren't you supposed to not work out in them, though? Huh? You're not supposed to work out in them. They're like street shoes, right? No, you can do whatever you the want. What the fuck them. is a street shoe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shoe you wear in the street. <laughs> you know? Are these cool? Just let me. Oh, those are rip-off Balenciagas. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I hate their socks. I hate them. What's a Balenciaga? Okay. Balenciaga's a brand. And that's all I need to know. It's a high-end fashion brand. It's like John Barbados. Okay, so listen, the, the, these sneakers, well, that makes me feel better that these guys are phonies. Yeah. They're phonies. They're, yeah. they're entry level. They only started caring about that stuff because they started making some money. Right. Yeah. So you got to do it when you can't do it. Yeah, basically. Well, you gotta rob like people. they never waited in line for a shoe. I've <gasps> I've camped out for shoes. Oh my god. Yeah. So you're saying that these guys they don't they just get them because of who they are. Uh not even that. I they you if they have a plug somewhere, like if they know someone at Nike, they might get they might get hooked up. But right. um 
they probably just get what they can so get. Rich Voss is a phony. Rich has a nice collection, but I, he's not. He doesn't have anything too exclusive for me to be like, oh, you're a real deal. So he's not the real deal. No, he's just a guy yeah. who's got a couple shoes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow, interesting. It's very I feel better. I feel a little better. Yeah. I feel a little better. I'm now. glad I can help, Bob. Well, I gotta <laughs> wear these fucking uh, New Balance now. Sell them on eBay. My pl- my New Balance. No, the the Nikes. No, I'm gonna keep them. Okay. In case I have an event, you know. An event. <laughs> <laughs> this is what sucks about them. Those Hirachis, the red ones. They were kind of red orange. They really popped. Yeah, they did. They're, those are a nice pair. <laughs> They're nice. You can't find them either. Not in tens and a half. Where'd you get them? I got them in uh, I don't know one of those fancy. F- now they have Foot Locker, but they have a Foot Locker. Like a fancy foot locker or something? Yeah. What's foot, it called? Women's um, foot locker. <laughs> I mean, foot locker is overall upgraded. Foot locker I, actually backs a lot of the resale uh, places now. Like, foot locker owns part of Flight Club. I just, and I'm so sick of it. You gotta fucking <laughs> wear a pair Club. of sneakers. Sneaker, you're wearing sneakers like they're fu- like expensive shoes. You can't get them dirty or wet. It's sneakers. Well, enough. <laughs> enough about it. Yeah. I bought these knockoff Balenciagas on Amazon Prime. Yeah. I, wish, I mean, I wish they covered your my weird your, ankles, your blotchy ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, for me, those are like a little too streamlined. For, I like bulky basketball sneakers. So that's why I'm like, hey, get the fuck out of here with those. But um, I mean, a lot of people like them. So do, do you, you know Google? how? Let me just tell you how much plantar fasciitis hurts. I also have it. Listen, you do. Yeah. Why do you have it? Because I'm born Jewish. <laughs> what does that mean? I have to wear insoles. Why? You want to see my insoles? No, I don't. I'll take them out right <laughs> now. Please All right, I do want to see them. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Why do you have to wear? You have plantar fasciitis? Because I'm a Jew. I grew too fast. My knees and my ankles are all fucked up, and my feet, and also my back, and then Can a little please, bit of my that, body. You, that's not a fact, though. You're making Jews just don't have plantar fasciitis. Oh, look nah, at that. They, they say, say sassy. sassy. Nah, that's a Jewish insole. For sure. <laughs> what do you mean? That's it's, a a very, it's a very Jewish insole. What does that mean? Just look at it. It's a very Jewish insole. That doesn't even mean anything. That doesn't even make any sense at all. No, nah, it's a super Jewish insole. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> Wow, we know it. What the fuck is this? What podcast? Are we on the Compound Network? I ordered these and they just came to my apartment and they said, like, the the doctor made a choice and he yeah. picked the sassy ones for me. Yeah. <laughs> Unfucking like, molded? Yeah. Whoa. So I'm yeah. fucking done with you, stupid sneakers. I'm wearing comfortable shoes. We can get you ones that are nice, like, Who, at that where? level. Who Plenty but of I, I don't want to spend. Three hundred dollars on sneakers. You know what I'd you rather? You don't. You can get them for like forty bucks. I'd rather buy a Japanese Look fishing the, um... rod. Look up Japanese fishing rod. A fly fishing rod. Oh, okay. Michael. I'd rather get that. Oh, those you went are... fishing. Just look up Air Just Monarchs. Yesterday. Yeah, go to those rod head websites. Uh, no, but those are like. like look at that. Look that's at that. Not gonna... One seventy nine. It's a telescoping fishing rod right there. The Taki Tenkara. Because that Tenkara. That's yep. it. That's what I want right there, guys. That's what I want, a Tenkara. Look at that. It's a fucking telescoping fly rod. Dude, it All... fucking telescopes, dude. I... <laughs> That's good. That? No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah. been working on it. Yeah, that looks more. That looks like fun to me. That looks awesome. A that tenkara. looks like a dildo. So if you go fly fishing, there's some guy there with a shitty old rod. Are you going to be shitty to him or are you going to be cool to him? Well, here's the thing. Th- who, who's that? Them. What is that? That's got to be Cheney. <laughs> Is that Cheney? His phone rings as loud as his laugh. It's the shoe mafia calling You him. have your phone on on the, the yeah. first time he sits down on the and he fucks up. People are on Mike suspension. Mike suspension. Couch again. No, my dog. No, Mike suspension. No, I'll Goodbye. Make it up. Get Mike on the suspension. couch. You get a five. A oh, I get the bomb dance too. You get, you get a fucking ten and, minute and Mike it has suspension. Bobby sweat on it. Get on the couch. Oh, you yeah, haven't watched it since you blew your nose on it. <laughs> I I did go fly fishing with Ryan Hamilton. Ryan Hamilton I saw that. rent this beautiful house. I mean, on a river up in upstate New York. Right near Roscoe. Uh, and it is, I mean, his backyard, you can just go fishing. Like walk into a river. What? And he lives there? No, he rented this place. He was, he, it's so fun. The, the bedroom window is the size of this wall. No curtain, no anything. And it just looks out onto a river. Whoa. And trees. It's so fucking gorgeous. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, You've got a baby bass. That's him at the end of the Hang summer. on, stop. Everybody stop right now. Listen to me, Mike. Do not try to assimilate to me. It was bass. a fucking brook trout, okay? It's called the brookie. Oh. I'm not catching bass. I'm not a fat redneck with worms and a fucking spinner reel. I'm an adult fucking middle class to a uh, thousandaire with a fly <laughs> fishing rod, okay? Oh, okay. Fucking, what am I, a savage with a worm catching a basket? <laughs> you fuck? just did to me with fly fishing what they did to you with shoes. 
Huh? <gasps> trickle down. You're a fish a bully. fucking trickle down. Listen, there you go, right there, brook trout, right there. Look how beautiful <laughs> they are. Look how beautiful. Click on the first one. How is that different than a rainbow so trout? Is that the first one? No, that's the third one. The first one. Look at how, look up, go on that photo. I'll tell you, a brook trout, look at the little spots on it. It's so fucking beautiful. A brook trout is smaller. Look at the little red dots. Herpes? No, it's, oh, I gotta go. You guys, <laughs> I hate the youth of America. I really do. Look at that beautiful trout. Do those trout. taste different than rainbow trout? I don't eat them. I let them, I'm a lip herder. I pinch my barb off. I don't hurt them. It comes right out. I just, you know, the little hook barb? I pinch yeah. that off so it's harder to catch, but they just take them right out. Because I don't want to rip their fuck. I don't want to hurt them. I, I catch them and I get it, let them right back in. Um, gorgeous time though, right? I mean, we had we walked out in the, down this beautiful path, and then we walked up this hill, kind of bushwhacked it into a river. Just me and him on a river, sucking each other off. <laughs> cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fish. Yeah. I love fishing. <laughs> that sounds awesome. That would be awesome. I tell you, man, if you were fucking just, if I was just a silly gay guy, that would be the best fucking. I'd be fly fishing every weekend. Just do it. Let's just go blow each other and <laughs> catch some in fish. High we, don't even need to, we, don't, oh. we don't even need to fish, dude. Bobby, let's just suck each other off in the woods. woods. Gets it, make my jizz into floatant. Keep that fly buoyant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Technical terms. Why don't you eat it? I feel like you would be uh, a person to like You can't eat your own jizz. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Yes, you can. Yeah, I mean, you if you're can. you're a man, you yeah, can. Yeah. Um, yeah, you... It's... um. You can. It's just a bigger fish. You don't need a brookie. I wouldn't need a unless it was big. I'm not gonna eat. I'm not gonna kill a fish. First of all, I just want to get a sandwich. I got a bruschetta with mozzarella down the street. <laughs> I don't really need to eat a fucking fish. How you know Ryan, what I mean? How was Ryan at fishing? Ryan is great, man. Ryan's a good fisherman. You could tell the way he casts. He was fucking awesome. Who's that? Come on in. Who is it? We shall there see. he is. Joe List. All right. All right. The, the show is officially started now. We did a little pre-show. Joe, you're right there, buddy. Um, we got, uh, of course we got JFL happening this week, uh, two weeks from now, uh, I am up there doing a gala, but the main thing I'm doing up there is called creeps with kids. This tour that is taking off fucking, it's incredible. Uh, right now me, Rich Voss, uh, Ron Bennington, Jim Florentine creeps with kids. We're doing JFL up there at club soda. It's uh, on the 27th, July 27th. Get your tickets now. Get your badges and, and, and make sure you get to that show. It's going to be sold out, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be awesome. The actual tour is going to be epic, too. So uh, make sure you get a ticket for that. Reading, Pennsylvania, step up, baby. All the other venues are selling great. We're over half sold at, like, five venues, which means it's going to be sold out. If you wait, it's just going to be gone. Boston's going to be gone. Get your tickets now. Long Island's going to be gone. Get your tickets now. Philly's going to be gone. Get your tickets now. Um, we also have patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Uh, I'm, I'm booking this summer, probably in August, or maybe before I go, I'm going to try to book uh, Live from the Shed. We're coming back with Live from the Shed. I'm going to try to, I mean, the guests that I'm asking that have already said they do it is fucking epic. So I can't, I can't wait. Patreon. I know we haven't put up one up in a little bit, but the one we're going to put up uh, this week is going to be great. But the ones we're filming this summer for you guys is going to be epic. So please check that out. And then, of course, Laughable.com. I'm doing all these plugs to get them out of the way, Joseph. Uh, Comedy Cellar Vegas. Go to Laughable.com. Make sure you download the app on both platforms. And, uh, you know, go to CreepsWithKids.com. Shirts, all that stuff. Instagram, Robert Kelly Live. All, I, do, I do Instagram, so follow me there. Once in a while, I'll... Tweet something funny. You know, Joe, I read that today on on Twitter. Joe List, everybody. How are you, buddy? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I'll be in Montreal, too, buddy. We got to hang. Can we are hang? You really? You know what I decided? I want to hear what you read on Twitter, but I've been hanging a lot. I got to hang with people that are sober more. Yeah. I, I'm hanging out with guys that I love, loves of my life. But from yeah. the old days, I'm going to concerts, and I love them. Yeah. But they're high and drunk. They're on a different... I did Legion of Skanks last night. I love those guys. Yep. But uh, they went out and working on the same molecular. It's a different, uh, you know. We did comedy camp this year, and yeah. everybody's fucking drunk or high. Yes, except for me. Right. There's and, a lot of this, and I'm. I just you just said that. There's a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just said that. I don't mind it, right? I don't. I don't care if you're drinking or smoke. I don't care what you're doing. But I there is a point where I'm like, okay, I want to go talk. I want to have a conversation. Right. I want to like I I know next year when we do comedy camp. 
I'm going to have to, at some point, I'm going to have to invite people. Like, if you were there, yes. me and you would have went up to the upper fire. Ooh. And we could have just mm-hmm. had a cigar and shot fire. the shit and conversated, and it would have been good. You know, it was. It gets a little rowdy for me. I'm 48. I'm an old man. Ooh. I'm sitting there going, "Why are people <laughs> like people started bothering me?" Yeah, and I was like, eh, "I'm an old fuck. I don't drink. I'm not high." That's how I feel. Yeah. So yeah. it's like it's not their fault. I'm just gonna. I, sh- I should have just went up and sat by myself, right? And smoked a cigar and enjoy- I liked it, the quiet of it all. Mm-hmm. I like to philosophize, joke, bust balls, listen. I like to listen. I'm yeah. a good listener. Joe. Is that? Okay. What? I didn't hear you. What'd you say? Uh, <laughs> I thought that was interesting that you think that. <laughs> um, well, what'd you read on Twitter? Uh, well, Something bad? No. Is it my butter th- poll? No, Have you seen my it? butter poll? What is that? I'm trying to get to the bottom of butter. What are you talking about? Let me let me just read you some business here. I, I pardon me for looking at my phone. No, please don't. But get your phone. some Thank people you. they say, hey, butter's great. Butter's actually healthy. People yeah. will say butter's the devil. So I put out a little thing. It's got 392 votes. Yeah. Oh, you can pull it up right here. That's better on the big yeah. screen. Yeah, we, we're, we're a good podcast. Oh, it doesn't have the results, though. Yeah, you click on... I would say... I want to pick. Uh, it's, it's uh, Actually, it's healthy. It, actually, it's healthy. P- we click that. Now, uh, oh, uh, you, uh, here, here are the numbers that it has right now. Yeah, okay. So bad for you. I, so I wrote down, if you're listening at home, best butter description health-wise. Here are the options. So bad for you. Not that bad for you. Yes. Third one is not good, but won't kill you. And the fourth is actually it's healthy. Yeah. Actually, it's healthy. It's 40% of the vote. Because it's not bad for you. Why? Because um, what's bad for you is shitty, like, I can't believe it's not butter. Yes. That's chemicals. That's the shit that's killing everybody. That's the stuff, the corn, all the stuff that they put in potato chips and um, all the bullshit we have, The if you like Costco chicken. The rotisserie chicken, mm. the stuff that they put on it that makes it taste so good, Come. Make, make, that Same and them. is uh, is what Jim. makes you want it more. It's chemicals. It's all the shit that makes you want more and more. When you're done eating, you want more because of the stuff that's on it, the preservatives, all the shit. Look at the Costco chicken. It's It tastes amazing, but it's not rotisserie chicken that you make. It's delicious, but at a cost. Oh, yeah, okay. so like the Ugh. butter, if you get like I- Irish butter, <laughs> yes, r- really good for you. Yes, yeah. and Celtic salt. These Irish, they know what the fuck they're well, doing they over they there. Well, they don't put shit in it. No, they don't put shit anywhere. They don't put garbage. You go anywhere. Like, we always talk about this. You, you can have butter. Every restaurant you go to, you know how much butter they use? A lot of butter. They use, that's how they make shit taste good. That's why your food at home doesn't taste like a restaurant, because they use a f- pound of butter in every dish. Butter's just, good. Butter, butter, butter. Here's my question. Yes. If dairy is bad for you, yes, then how is butter good Who for you? Who said it dairy's bad for you? I think milk. Dumbly. Milk might be bad. <laughs> what did you call it? Milk. Milk. Why milk? Milk. Remember that old Gullman bit? What was that? It was milk. He goes, I saw seven ads for milk. Why is there one ad for milk? Are these people that aren't? I hate when I have to bomb with someone else's <laughs> shit. <laughs> the poor guy. And he said, uh, Mil- Milka? Milk? Am I saying it correctly? It was a whole thing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's very good. He is good. <laughs> Anyways, but butter, because my uncle would say butter is actually healthy because it's uh, natural. Yeah. But I don't think dairy is bad for you. I thought that was keto and chemo and all that shit. Yeah, dairy's chemo. not bad for you. Yeah. But I think I milk is not great because no. we're the only ones that drink milk from another animal yeah. or something bullshit. Well, I, I mean. Right, but dairy is milk. Right, and so milk, milk is, is bad, but well, that doesn't mean dairy is bad. Like, other animals drink their mother's milk. They, they drink milk all the time. Yeah, like yeah, Charles Manson is a bad guy. It doesn't mean humans are bad. It means that they human also is say bad. It's how, how it's pasteurized. It's like there's a lot of pus and other stuff in it. I'm sorry, what? Pus? pus? What did yeah. you just say to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't know that? My cock's got pus on it. Why? That's why is there... Why? <laughs> no, that's, that's true. What, are you just going to... Just Is that your thing now? Is that your character? I agree yeah, with everything. Yeah, you didn't... Yeah, yeah. you just yeah, agree with everything? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, Try to move stuff along. Oh, please, you're annoying. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking agreeing character. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. What what did you say? There's pus and milk, like when they get out. In America or in Mexico? In in America. I don't don't know. There's a difference. Probably in Mexico. It's it's factory. It's it's, it's a product of factory farming. That's what happens. Why? Is pus spelled with one S? It's it's from, like, the machines that. (laughs) Hang on, stop. It makes it grosser than it has one S? Yeah. Because they have the the milking machines, right? It just connects to the udders. They never take them off, they get sores on them. So. Pus comes out of the soil. Wow. Oh, you're a farm loser. 
<laughs> Did you work on a farm? No, I just read. Oh, gross. gross. Again. He just called you stupid in a weird way. I read a lot. <laughs> I'm reading about Charles Manson. That's where I pulled Charles Manson from. <laughs> no. <laughs> Weren't they fucking rich? Can I just digress for a moment? Please, digress. You ever read or watch anything from the 70s, the documentaries? <laughs> they were like fucking retards trying to solve crimes. Oh, yeah. You yeah. and I could solve a crime better now yes. than they could back then. Yeah. Like the Help the Skelter <laughs> shit, yeah. they literally, for like nine months, are like, they're not related. Uh, back to back nights, murder with a knife and writing <laughs> shit in blood in yeah. the same town. Yeah. They're like, nah, it's completely different. Well, I think there was a lot more corruption back then, too. And there was a lot more, uh, you know, look, we don't want to, we can't believe if, if, if we tell the public this, there'll be anarchy. The streets will be, f- people will flip out. There back. was a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they could, be, they lied about a, a fucking spaceship landing in the planet. The world almost collapsed. Fucking bunch of dumb assholes. Which one? Oh, Orson Welles? Yes. Or was that George Orwell? I confused. George those, Orwell. Uh, no, Orson Welles. Orson Welles. No, George Orwell. With, no. with or, they <laughs> both did it together. 1984. George Orson Welles. Well. Well. Yeah, it was called. Yeah, it was I just, read. I read '84 <laughs> and the other bullshit. It is weird that they, but even documentaries. Have you ever remember watch sitcoms back then? How stupid they were. <laughs> the dialogue. Yeah, well, some of it's bad now. Still, I think there was there was a time between the '70s and the '90s where sitcoms. Like, what we were watching were fucking garbage. Yeah, and formulaic. And then they cared nothing about uh, <laughs> continuity. Thing. I think Seinfeld changed that a little bit. You think? Like, Seinfeld did a lot of stuff. Uh, Are you like, bringing him up because he fucking gave your partner the nod? That was pretty amazing. Oh. That was pretty fucking <laughs> I want. I want. I just want to... Come on, t- that was fucking crazy. What yeah. happened? What? I got it. What? what? Uh, Bobby doesn't want to watch it because Bobby hates Jerry. No, I don't hate him. I don't hate him. All right. <laughs> And I'm, I was ha- I was actually happy for Mark. I love Mark. Very exciting. That's the wrong Jerry, Mark Norman. You got to go yeah. to Mark Norm. Je- Jerry gave. I was on a, a, a radio show, a sports show, and they asked him who the next thing was, and Jerry was like, "I like this oh, guy, uh, Mark, Mark uh, Norman. No, Mark. <gasps> was that his name? <laughs> There's a video. Somewhere. Mark Norman is the. You know, is he? I see potential with him, and he really. That's because Jerry made Mark in a basement. <laughs> With uh, in a lab. <laughs> oh, you made him in a lab. You used half of his money to make him. <laughs> yeah, him and Ray Romano got together and made <laughs> Mark Norman in the yeah right down here in the village. They have a little robot plant that they made. Cool. And they they wrote they got all their favorite jokes of 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 like the last hundred years and put them in him to to make him. Yeah, he gave him a big uh, big plug. Big plug. Wow. Yeah, He's really a hair plug. plug. Did it do anything for him? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's hard because it, I think what happens is. First of all, there's 800 people watching the Mets game on a Friday night. <laughs> and then it gets shared on the internet all over the place. But I feel like a lot of that's just incestual. The Did comedy you say eight fans. or 800? 800. Okay, good. But um, <laughs> I think a lot of this is just shared by the same assholes that love our shit already. Yeah. Mm. But it's got 367,000 views. So at least, at least a third of them probably didn't know Mark. So that's right. 100,000 people. Right. But Did his Twitter followers go up? Uh, I don't know, but probably, what does he have for Twitter imagine. followers? He's got a ton of Twitter followers, but How it's, many it's does still he have? not as big as like he'll do Rogan next month. That's going to be bigger than this, but it's fucking super cool. He's it's doing insane. Rogan next month. I think September because of this. No, no, he already had it on the books. Oh, but um, yeah, it's one of those things that um, you have. It's like a late night. Nobody can uh, take that away. You're like, I got this little piece no. of uh, yeah. history. Yeah, no, I think it's pretty good. It's as long as cool. Jerry doesn't get caught fucking, you know, fucking cranking some out in front of people or uh, molesting a fucking, <laughs> a fucking man somewhere. Have they met room. since this happened? Have they met? Yeah. They, I mean, they were, they were buddies. They had a hang. Uh, I feel like this is more Mark's story, so I don't want to <laughs> tell the whole story. But they hung out. They've, they met at Gotham. They shot the shit. They've texted a couple times. And yeah. uh, so I imagine there'll be nothing. This feels like the end of a dating show. I think they're gonna hear more from these two. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's chemistry. But no, I was happy. Cool. I was happy for Margaret. I love that you immediately glommed onto it. This is gonna be great for our podcast. I didn't. You said that. I did not say that. Didn't you Let, tweet that? No, I said a big this moment is for Mark insane. Norman. Yeah. It says it right me. there. Yeah. I'm not Jay Funk. I'm Joe List. That's Jay Funk. Yeah, but you retweeted it. I retweeted the video. That was access to the video. Yeah, but you retweeted. This is a big moment for Mark and, a, and, no, and all Norman's. the Tuesday with stories. Joe List comedy. You're in it. 
Well, the guy tweeted at me with Mark. I can't but you, help that. Can you, couldn't you do your own tweet? That would have me in it also. That yeah, would but, be me. But tweeting. it wouldn't be about you. It would be just about Mark. Like, I'm very happy for my friend Mark. This is great. I think this is true about Mark. I tweeted, this is fucking insane. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. It was very exciting. Wait, how did we get here, though? Because we were on something. We were 70s on Twitter. TV shows are oh, funny 70s TV shows. Yes. Yeah, there was no continuity. You watch so many movies and TV shows from the 70s. and yes. Oh, that's what I was saying about Seinfeld. Like, you watch Seinfeld, George wore, like, three shirts in the fucking history of the show. <laughs> right. like, they, would keep, they would stay consistent with stuff, which yeah, a lot yeah. of places wouldn't. But if you look at Louie, he had no continuity. He didn't give a fuck about continuity. I remember somebody was like, dude, he's, the, the man behind you is not sm-. The cigarette went down. He goes, I don't give a fuck about the cigarette. Oh, that If, I love, if yeah. people are we're, we're looking at the cigarette, then I'm not doing my job writing-wise and none of us acting-wise, and they're paying attention to a cigarette. I agree that Louis' opinions are more important than Jerry's, for sure. <laughs> I will be on tour with Louis in Europe uh, the next couple of weeks. Uh, but <laughs> That's my- a tour that he, he threw to everybody, but he really just wanted Joe to go. <laughs> And then if Joe said no, we're all, I guess we were all like, he has like. <laughs> kind of fight for it. Oh, no, they just, I guess, what was it? Uh, Kevin Brennan was like, did you get invited to lose? Yeah, he didn't fucking pick me. He was all mad because like, dude, go fuck yourself. <laughs> if you invite me to something, I, if I say yes, I should be able to go. Well, Louis like, he's like, I'm still looking. I might still want to add someone. This was today. Yeah, well, fuck The tour him. is in two days. That's yeah. how he's cuckoo. Well, yeah, well. I'm like, who's going to go to Greece on two days notice? Nobody. Besides. Anybody in you. this room? You would um, go. Everybody in this room. Well, I'm already going. Well, good. Good for you. But anyways, poor Kevin Brennan's dying has no money. Is that true? <laughs> no. Maybe we should do a little GoFundMe. Yeah, we should. You should do it from the road with Louis. I'd be happy to do that. I love Kevin. <laughs> if you don't tag uh, Kevin Brennan in all your little Instagram things, <laughs> you're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will. I like Kevin. Everyone, like, you are always saying he's an ass and he sucks, but yeah. I like him. <laughs> all right, so first of all, <laughs> I don't know if that's what I've said. I, I mean, I've definitely called him an idiot and an asshole and a fucking shithead, but I, 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 I don't not like Kevin. I like Kevin. He's fine. No, I know. I'm because I know, he, I know all the horse shit is bullshit. You know what I mean? But, you know. Hey. You know, who's, hey. you, know, you know who's really nice who I met? Kevin's wife. Oh, no kidding. Is amazing. She's beautiful. She hates Kevin like everybody else. <laughs> She's fantastic. Everybody, Jessica is here. I'm so sorry I was late. You were doing a little interview. I was walking up the stairs. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate those stairs. Uh, I was reading. No, I was doing an interview with uh, Jeffrey. Yeah. Jeffrey. yeah. It took a while to set up the camera. It was mm. very much like watching an old Jewish man try to put t- you know, a light bulb in or something. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey Gurian is a nice man. Sweet, sweet man. Sweet guy. He really is. He has but great hair. He um. loves comedy. I, someone stayed at his house once and said it was a very interesting household. What do you oh, mean? Oh, in what way? It was Why? all like white and there's like a piano. Like it looks like John Lennon's apartment, he said. It's like a very, everything's painted white and, and grand. Grand, I can see grand that. Deer, os or something. Yeah. Nice. He's always with hot women. Did you notice that? I did not know that. Uh, always. He's a good dresser. He's been around for a long time. Mm-hmm. I did. We actually had him on this podcast years ago when we were over there. You, I th- were you on that show? Remember? Yeah. Oh, I was on a show that he was here. He was talking about writing for Rodney Dangerfield. So he came in. I was, was on that show. Right. He was very interesting. Yeah. And I remember that we were letting him just talk. We never really, we were always busted balls. Yeah. And I was like, let's just bring somebody normal on. And then people were busting his balls because they were <laughs> like, let's yeah. be funny. You know, and he's like trying to get his shit out, and they, we were trashing him a little that bit. That says a lot about our crew that we're like, we need someone normal. <laughs> Jeffrey <Yeah. Gurney. laughs> That's hilarious. Did it's you see true. when Bennington did the uh, Batman oh. thing? No, what? They did a whole thing about who would make the best Batman, and every, they took people from the comedy world and they put, they superimposed the mask on it. And it would be Jeffrey. And I think he, I forget if they voted, but people voted, I think, and, th- and he won. No shit. But if you look, he actually has a I make the best he, fat man. He's a. No. Nothing? I All liked right. it. No, I love you. <laughs> Come on. Is you that it? Holy shit. That's oh. It. That's it. And Gurian, Gurian was the best one. That's hilarious. Where is he? Are you in there? That might be you with second row, second from the left. That is middle. me. I would. I'd make a cool Batman. Oh, is that, that is you? you? Yeah. yeah. Where's Jeffrey Gurian? He Let's was the winner. Him. He is. Um. There's Mackey. Louis in there. Pete Davidson. <laughs> there's Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. Oh, maybe he wasn't in there, but they later they showed there's him. There's not enough black Batman. people. There's, I'm very offended. There's, well, yeah. 
They must have done it. They must have done it later. There's two black. I think Cosby's there. Oh, he is. I can't even tell who. Wait, where is Cosby? Is Jay Moore? Cosby's number three. Oh, yeah, he's black and white. I don't see Jeffrey Gurian. No, he's, he's not, not in this group. Maybe he was in a better group. But he looked amazing as Why well. ain't I in there? I'm a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I could be there. Uh, anywho, wow. Well, Sorry, we're all over the place. Yeah, we're all over I the place. I feel like I took us on a roll. Actually, we're talking about Twitter, and I saw today, um, I saw your, your tweet killed me a couple weeks ago. Oh, you texted me or we sent just, me a message. What did I say? I don't I even know. I just ate a couch. Yeah, <laughs> it's carbs. <laughs> Furniture or carbs? So <laughs> I know it's not. I didn't. By the way, the tweet was not. I just ate a couch because that's so uh, hacky. What'd you say? I don't remember, but there was something else to it. It, it was wasn't just that. like, "Hi, everyone, I just ate a couch." No, something like that. It was yeah. very funny. Well, I mean, I'm <laughs> I just on Weight Watchers, and I want to fucking kill myself. It's very hard. I just ate a couch is not is the least <laughs> hacky thing I've ever heard in my life. I don't know what really? the fuck you're having low self esteem about. <laughs> That was Whoa. made me laugh for ten minutes, because uh, I'm just reading through the Twitter feed. I don't tweet. <laughs> I don't. F- I hate Twitter. I don't fuck with it. I don't read any comments. I don't. Re- but I will just roll through it. <laughs> I was like, you know, Trump is this, and <laughs> we need this, and I'll be here this weekend. And I just ate a couch. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck was that? It Joe's good. You're laugh. good on Twitter. Oh, thank you. I haven't had a good one. I tried a couple times. I tweet when I feel like I'm like. Sometimes I'll be like, I should have a tweet, and then I'll just be like this. <laughs> like try to shit out a tweet. I know and you try to think of something great. funny. It's so ugh. Yeah, yeah Twitter then, is a fucking it's wasteland. And people are mean. But everybody's fucking angry. I very angry. Very. I feel like I've managed to block everybody negative though. I haven't had a lot of bad. Well, you know, Instagram is coming up with this new thing. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it's uh, so when you uh, when somebody tweets uh, or Instagrams a comment or a mean thing. On their next time that they do it, it it's going to come up and be like, "Hey, maybe you want to rethink this comment. It's a little mean." And that's his. So slow. they're going to they're going to try to shame. <laughs> they're trying to shame the bullies and the trolls. Like it's going to have any effect. Uh, look at the screen. What yeah. he's passing right now. Yeah. I'm out of my mind. Who? Yeah. Did- all right. That looks great. Yeah, it looks it's awesome. Amazing. Is that fun? It would be better on my nice. vagina. I mean, I have to be honest with you. It was a little <laughs> uncomfortable in my face. Well, if but you get that many hands on your vagina, you need to fix your vagina. <laughs> I haven't had a hand on my vagina in a really long time. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I have babies. Yeah, you can't. I have fuck twin that. fucking month year olds. It's real. It's a three and a half year old. I was just talking about that today. Thirteen with somebody. year old. You, you, crazy. you have a lot of kids. I have four daughters now. That's amazing. I didn't have any of them. Isn't that's that a, crazy? I have two baby mom. I'm, I know. I have a mar- I have like a women's march and all. That's nice. <laughs> What's um? It's great. What now? Why did you want to have more kids? You I just... didn't want kids from the get go. Right, this well, is completely okay, honest. Down. Don't attack me. I never <laughs> wanted it. I didn't ever. Ev- not growing up, never once. I, I never, never wanted kids loved either. kids. I, I, never I don't. Wanted either. I, I don't walk in a room and go, "There are the kids." I'm gonna go. I, I literally will go in the other room. Right. But then with my ex, we had a, a child, and I fell in love with her. I had a very hard situation because I didn't have legal rights. We were married, but it wasn't legal at the time. Mm-hmm. So I went through a lot with that. And then I got married again, and she wanted kids. And I was like, okay, I can do this. So we had a daughter. This is just my life. It's not to be anything, but she was born with heart disease. So six days old, she had open heart surgery. She's had three open heart surgeries and a stent. And she's three and a half. And so, and we wanted, I wanted her to have a sibling. This is literally how it happened. I really didn't want her to be an only child. I wanted, because she has two moms. So, you know, she's already, she needs to have a full What about the other kid? Sibling. Oh, you wanted a Well, Zoe's kid. in my life. She's lives on, that's why I live on Long Island, to be near her. I see her constantly, my 13 year old. But mm. um, I, we ended up having twins. We did in vitro and it was twins. We didn't wow. plan it. It was like, oh my, we both, I'll never forget it. We were like, what? Twins? No, do you have to keep up? Did you, I mean, I tried okay. to push her down the stairs, but she is a softball player, so she caught herself. She played first base for St. John's, so she slid. It was so, <laughs> so it's it's and I, you know what? I'm no. so happy. I love them all so much, but I just don't. I I don't love kids, but I love my kids. That's the truth. Um, I I actually love kids. I'm great with kids, and it sucks, but I never wanted kids. That's Me and Dawn used to sit there on the beach in Aruba with kids at the, at the, at the, uh, at, cause I'm good with kids because it sucks because I'll go somewhere 
and yeah. kids, parents suck with kids. Like I'll go to the park <laughs> and I'll be playing with all the kids and there's be some dad and a bunch of moms on their phone. Mm-hmm. And I'm yes. like, your kid is right here, you fucking dummy. Out like go have fun with them. They're going to remember it for the rest of their lives. And you're sitting there at just being an adult. It's like, Say something to them. People are awful. I, I saw, see that so much. They just don't even pay attention to their children. I had a kid fall off the jungle gym in front of his dad and land on the rubber mat and make a thump. And the kid just went, ow, <laughs> and looked at the dad on his phone. Mm. And the dad was like, you good? He was like, I guess. It's like, <laughs> right. what the fuck? I don't have a choice. Yeah, I, I have ch- to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. You're not going to take me anywhere. I, it's not that I don't love kids. I just think a lot of them aren't well behaved. I have a thing about that. I mean, I had a, you know, fucked up fan, whatever, but I was taught manners and different yeah. things. And We had a hard time this weekend with Max. Why? <laughs> we went to, uh, it was, it's, you know, look, I, I, it sucks for me because I never had a constant father figure in my life. So being a dad, it, I have to, I have to. I have to go with my instincts a lot or I have to, and my father just passed away and it sucks too. My stepdad this year, cause we were, he was, Max was just getting into the age where I could call him and connect with him about these things. You know, we, we connected when I got the house about the backyard and grass and shit like that. But now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, I know those moments that are fucking, Oh, right, you got a deck there. You got to level out the deck. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, what are we, what is this? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, is, you're like, I need a hug. Just throw a feeling out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was, but when we had Max, and now that Max was getting older, he could, I could call him and be like, look, man, he did this today. Well, listen, you know, that's what's going to happen with these kids. And, and I could get some, but now, you know, now him being gone, it's like this year has been like, you know, who am I going to go to? I can't, it doesn't matter to you. Like, I'll talk to people and they'll just, yeah, yeah, it's tough. I know. It's, a, oh, it's tough being a parent. Oh, thanks. Thanks. No examples. No. I know. <laughs> you know, no, uh, you know, and there's a couple of people that kind of help me here and there that I can talk to and they're, they're good with it. But boss seems like a good dad. Yeah. Seems right. Wise. Yeah. I'm going to call you. Really? His daughters are hot. <laughs> oh, my God. That is the funniest thing. I know. I, mean, I, so, something. I, I know. I masturbated to them when he posted <laughs> <those laughs> wedding his pictures. It was his hot. Daughter, his daughter. They're beautiful. They're, they're, they're from beautiful. another gene pool, though. Right. His daughter and his daughter was at Norton's party the other day. She walked in and I'm like, why is this beautiful human being even talking to Voss? <laughs> I didn't know it was his daughter. She's so. And then the boyfriend walked in and he's like, hey, how are you? Um, whatever his name is. I'm like, he's a he's a man like he's younger than Voss. And Voss is in fucking true religion jeans and. <laughs> Stupid Nikes and a dumb hat, and this guy walked in. Hey, how are you? a Princeton shirt or something? How are you? I'm I'm Gary, and I'm like, that's a fucking man. Like it's weird. It, it his his daughters are amazing, yeah. But anyways, I had um, yeah, like we went to the party this weekend over Verzi's, and there's a you know bunch of kids, and Max is Max gets out of the car. Max, you gonna stand? He's he's bigger than his, most six year olds. But he's also, he has a personality. He'll walk up. What's up? What's going on? How are you? I'm Max. You know, I love Doritos. And just start talking to people. <laughs> Cute. And he walks in into the house. Hey, Paul, how are you? You know, starts talking to people and all the kids are there. But he's, you know, he's got a lot of energies. He's, he's six. And there's, there was a, you know, a few older kids there, whatever. Not all 11, 12, whatever the fuck they are. And they fucking, there was a bunch of girls and versus kids. And they were fucking, you know, they didn't want anything to do with Max. And I'm sitting there watching it, and me and Donna there, and we're trying to, you know, Max, come over and play with us. No, no, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be with me. He wants to be with the kids. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Max, come on, no, Dad, no, Dad, I want to play. And it's like, all right, go do your thing. And you want to let him fail, but it's like heartbreaking. And they're running away from him, and he's chasing them all the way around. And and then they locked him in the shed. Hilarious. Live from the shed. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. And I didn't know. I I saw it, but I thought, you know, and he, they did it twice. And it was like, fuck me. (sighs) I I would have said, you didn't, I would have said something. Well, Dawn went in the house, and I guess the girls, I guess one of the mothers was talking, they were talking, they was like, he's a psycho or something, talking about little Maxie. He's six, you fucking twats. Well, that's the thing. They're probably thrown off by someone that talks to people. 
I thought that at my wedding. He walked up to kids. He's like, "Hi, I'm Max." I'm like, "This kid's crazy." <laughs> <laughs> That's abnormal. Not not like in a good way. Right. It, but like most kids you meet are like every kid I've ever seen, my family or any kid, yeah. they usually they walk in at first and they're sitting behind, they're holding yeah, they're, onto their yeah. mother's leg. Max is not that guy. So I think people seeing an outgoing Either child, they're like, kids. what's up with this guy? Yeah. Max, they're, not, they're yeah. not like that. They're more social. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe Especially it's my family. Zoe, my well, everyone in my family, I know my friends' kids too. No, but too. that's common. They you're, walk what in, you're they're hiding behind the common. couch when you walk in. Oh, they're very just like little fucking scared human right. beings. Yeah. Max that's isn't that guy. But whenever. So Dawn walked in on this, and she heard the little girls, and she's lost it. She's like, well, she go, she comes over to me, she goes, "Get your shit, we're gone. Oh, yeah, wow. we're out of here." And I'm like, I'm like, what? We just flew, we just got there. Girls are mean. And I'm like, to me, I go, my wife says, "We're out, we're out." So I get, I, I go, "Yep." I start grabbing my shit, whatever my, uh, you know, I got my wife's back. I don't give a fuck where we are, and uh, they, she was like, they fucking. My wife was fucking mad. I would flip My wife was out. mad. And I mean, when Dawn... Look, when I get mad, it's one thing. When Dawn gets mad, it's a whole nother level. Yeah. Like, I get fucking scared. And uh, she was like, we're out. We're, go- we're the fuck... And she goes, Max, and she's grabbing all... She's got literally all our stuff in five seconds. I don't know how she did it. We're all <laughs> over the place. She's got everything. And she goes... And then Virgie's like, dude, what the fuck? I go, dude, I gotta go. Something happened with Max. They're treating Max like shit. And I walked into the little kids. I go, you know, when you talk, when you say mean stuff to other kids, that's terrible. You should never do that. You shouldn't You shouldn't do that. You should be friends with everybody. And they were like, we didn't say anything. Bullshit. Right? And then Verzi's wife, is, she, she literally heard about it. And we were leaving. And she lined up all the kids. Yeah. She lined them all up. And yeah. she, she screamed at them. And her kids, too. She was like, you know. You know, I don't know what she said, but I heard it was pretty fucking epic. She she lined them all up in the kitchen and just like, you don't treat people like that. You know, screamed at them. We don't do that to people. You be nice to me. And she grabbed her kids and goes, you two, you make you're on Max. You know, you make sure Max has a good time. And because and, Verzi kids are great, they're really good kids. I think what happens is you just follow the of leader. Of course. Right. And Verzi That's- comes up to me and he's like, yeah, one. He he goes. I know exactly who it was. <laughs> I, dude, I know who fuck it was. I know who the fuck it was. The fucking fat fuck, you know. And he just starts going off. And he's a guy. This fucking motherfucker. And he knew exactly what girl was doing. Yeah, it. there's there one. There's a that's couple a bully. of them. They're either bully. Yeah. But Max doesn't even know. Max is just, uh, dude. Seeing your kid sad. Oh, it's the. W- it makes you want to just kill people, man. It makes you want to just start fucking grabbing people by the neck. Yeah, that's why we won't have a kid. Huh? You'll have a kid. You'll be a great dad. You keep saying that. <laughs> well, like five years we've been saying this. You'll have a kid. I'm not having a kid. We're giving you a kid. Max, <laughs> do you want one of mine? Is yours. I have to <laughs> no, no, I'm in first. You're taking Max. <laughs> Me and Don are moving to Aruba. We're taking over Aruba Ray's job. I'm going to put him um, in the shed. Yeah, so anyways. Yeah, it was really sad, but they worked it out. But we were st- now we're sitting there just staring at Max the whole time. We're what? waiting. It was just waiting. We're playing zone defense, <laughs> just waiting for one of these little fuck faces yeah. to fuck with my kid. Dawn was like, if anything, she was just going to fucking go, fuck you, you little fuck, and grab, and we were out. So Danielle would flip. I would be very afraid to see yeah, d- my wife. Dawn her. was, I've never seen, I mean, she had all our shit. She goes, we're out of here in front of everybody. <laughs> so did you end up leaving or did you stay? We, we wound up staying because nice. here's the thing. They dealt with it. Stays, right. you know, Verzi's wife did the right thing and sh- literally sh- lined them up like criminals <laughs> and fucking screamed at them. And, uh, you know, they did the right thing. And then Max had a good time after that. But, you know, Max is just too mature for his uh, for his age bracket. And he's too young for the older kids. Right. So he's too crazy. He wants to have fun and be goofy and silly and mm-hmm. fucking fight dragons. And, you know, this fat bitch wanted to whatever the fuck... <laughs> Ugh, little fucking asshole she was. Yeah, that is really, it doesn't happen a lot. It doesn't. It happens to me a lot. It's happened to Max. It ha- Up in Westchester, these it's snobby fucking little right. spoiled brats. Right. And I told Max, because you can't just, you can't just let them, you got to go, Max, no. somebody does that to you, you tell them what they are. You're a mean person. You're a bully. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Mm. Or come and out with one of those fucking shed tools. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them up. But that's what I'm afraid of, dude. That's how people... That's how kids... Yeah. You you get hurt enough, it becomes anger, Joe. But wouldn't it be kind of fun, even if it maybe make a cartoon about it or something? 
to, Max gets locked in the shed and he comes out with a weed whacker and just kills the girl. <laughs> Which one? The one that did it. I don't want Verzi's kids to get hurt. No, not Verzi's kid. The just girl the that one, locked him in the thing. Just the fat yeah. one. Yeah, well, they the all did. One. They all did it together as a all group. All right, so he kills all of I them. I think they did do that. I think it's called Friday the 13th. That's not a bad <laughs> plot. You know? I'm pretty sure they've done that with every horror movie. Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. A vengeance. Yeah, they've done that. But yeah. I thought that was interesting when you said to go in the shed. and Yeah, Yeah, come out fucking firing. <laughs> if, by the way, if my kid ever did that to another kid, I would. that would be oh. it. I'm wondering what the, her parents did because I would nothing. flip. At, no. Nothing. That's nothing? why. That's nothing. my point. I mean, they, I think she talked to them or they talked to them, but they didn't. That they, would be I, it. Max would get his life taken away. Exactly. For a month. Literally, for that week, he wouldn't be able to have a movie, no iPad, no... Not, he would have to... I'd give him a puzzle. That's what you could play with. <laughs> Put a puzzle together. That's all you get. That's Even why the they day. act like that because they don't get reprimanded a lot and they it's okay and it's funny or it's whatever you know it's crazy. Yeah, Max and, and then Max was sneaking f- like he was just eating. There was candy everywhere and cupcakes. So I I go downstairs. Well, he's over by the fire pit and I walk over and Giannis is there. It's all the couples now because it's late after the fireworks, and uh, fucking Giannis. He goes, yeah, your kid was. It was a box of candies, <laughs> right? And he's like, your kid was going nuts. I go, did you ever think to tell him to stop? Like, he was, I I, no. I mean, you don't just, what if there was a fucking bowl of Coke? You're going to let him just <laughs> snort it, you fucking, you know what I mean? Hey, you kid let, smoked all the weed. He's like, your kid was going nuts with the candy. I'm like, well, you fucks, any of you, you could have stopped him or grabbed me? And then he go. I go inside. <laughs> he went upstairs with Verzi's <laughs> Verzi's daughter. He wanted to watch a movie with Verzi's daughter, so he went upstairs and got. There was a tray of cookies. He brought them down, and he's got a tray of cookies in front of him and the clicker. And he's like, "We're watching a movie." And I'm, I'm like, "You can't have any more fucking sweets, kid." We go outside. He just throws up. <laughs> oh. Fucking pukes right Maybe. in front of Bird, his wife, and <laughs> I'm like, "Jesus God!" Maybe he's not. like, "Dad, your kid's puking, Dad. He had too much candy, Dad." Anything happened during the movie? Uh, n- Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, well we all hot. thought that. We all thought that. <laughs> sounded, sounded spicy. Yeah. It t- it's tough. It's it's really hard being a parent. It Yeah. It's a motherfucker. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Especially when you come from a lot. When I you really <laughs> say epic shit. Parenting is hard. <laughs> is when you come from what? <laughs> I've never heard that. Hot take. Hot takes by Kelly. Okay. The worst yeah. part, doesn't this, I'm mean, not to be a bummer. <laughs> like, I feel like my parents were great and wonderful people, and they uh, tried so hard. I'm in, I'm in uh, therapy mm-hmm. and AA yeah. and fucking, I got to yeah. meditate, yeah. and I got I to gotta read Thich Nhat Hanh books. <laughs> and they're like quality people. Yeah, I think no matter true. how good you do. That's right. It just, it's a fucking mess. But you can, but you do always have, you love your parents and they love you. Of course. So you know yeah. that no matter what, you, no matter what happens with Mark Norman and his success, and it doesn't cling on to you and you have to open for Louis for the rest of your life and then give up this business and then go back to Boston. Your parents still love you. <laughs> yes. And we don't know I, if Mark Norman has parents. I know. We believe he was made in the basement. In a lab. I know for sure one of my parents loves me and uh, I'm doing quite well, Bob. I know. You're doing great. Yeah, it's very mean. Well, I don't know if you love me. Do you love me? I love you more than anybody you know. <laughs> That's probably that's fair. I do love you. That's very sweet. I do love you. I love you enough to let you go, Joe, because I know you'll come back. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is getting I am, nauseating. I am back. You don't see Soda here. I know. I said I'm going to do Bobby's pod, and he's like, "Is that still going on?" <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> you just did a lie to God. Um, you don't love you both your parents. You don't think they both love you? No, they do. Of course, okay. I love them. Right. I, well, so I but my ask. dad's very quiet. He's not an openly loving. <sighs> I, but I took him to the Stones show on Sunday. I think he liked it. I oh. kiss my kid on the That's mouth. Good. What? I love my kid. Oh, right on the fucking You're not lips. To kiss your kid on the mouth. What do you mean? Like this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <That's> the, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> I go like this. Say goodbye to daddy. Uh, <laughs> say goodbye to daddy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Let me put my underwear on. Say goodbye to daddy. <laughs> I s- I scissor all my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Before I leave, <laughs> I scissor everything. <laughs> That's funny. Me and Max scissors too. <laughs> Me and Don scissor in front of Max, and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys scissor. I would love to see. That. <laughs> oh my god, my wife would love it too. We haven't touched. Oh. I know it's That's not easy. 
It's not easy because the kid, the kid's right there, you know. I don't think my wife wants anything to do with me anymore. Anyways, the other day we were on the couch, like like being flirty and yeah. doing stuff, and I just literally kept looking to see if Isabella was going to walk out of her room. I mean, yeah. she just walks out all the time. It's like I yeah. have to be. Yeah, I'm like I can't have her see that. This is. It's traumatizing. It is. Well, my thing is Dawn is so exhausted by <laughs> 9.30. Like, if I tried to play with her vagina, <laughs> she'd probably <laughs> fucking chip my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> like, she is fucking... She wakes up and goes all day and doesn't nap. And I'll fucking, you know, I'll wake up... Uh, you know, I wake up with the kid every day, but I'll go back to bed because I got to work all night. Does that annoy her? No, because I, I'm, I'm working at night. So I, when she's in bed, I'm out doing five fucking shows dealing with all this bullshit. So I got to do what the fuck I got to do. I'd rather be home with them. I'd I rather know. be home all day with them. So it's not a... Why would it annoy her? Well, it's oh, hard boy. for Danielle sometimes when she's exhausted from being with the kid, you know, and right. then I'm like, I'm going to lay down for a little while. It's... Well, do you do you ever just say, why don't you go lay down? I got it. Yeah. yeah she do doesn't. Is, she's not... She won't, yeah. Yeah, There's she's not weird. a... And doesn't do that. It is She's not frust- depressed. It is frustrating, I think, for uh, what's not siblings. What's the word? Your wife? Spouse. 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 Yeah. Spouses. Because as much as we're doing work and it's business, we are having a great time. Right. Like you're working right now. But also, yeah. you're hanging out with a bunch of buddies. Yeah. So it is tricky. Like I if mean, one person's you know, typing or whatever the fuck people yeah. do with jobs. I don't know what jobs no, are. No, I, I couldn't. Ne- I was thinking about that. I was, I was taking the garbage down and... Last night, and I was like, wow, I could never do all the shit that she does. Mm-hmm. Like, I couldn't fucking handle it. I couldn't either. Like, shopping, I'm done. I would get the same shit. We'd order out every fucking night. I mean, she was cleaning today. I'm like, aren't them, like, there's a maid coming in a week. Why are you washing the fucking, you're scrubbing. She's like, I just got to get it done. I think it's just her thing. Well, that's the same thing. She was up on the counter wiping yeah. the top of the. Th- I'm like, I mean, what plus are I, you doing? I fucking hit <laughs> her fuck? if she doesn't do certain things. Yeah, that's yeah. important. So that training her at the beginning of the relationship yeah, very important. has paid <laughs> off now. Right, right, no, right. You, know? you should, you should hit your spouse. Yeah, sure. not hit her. I mean, I mean, there's a time where you can stop hitting. It's like a dog. Yeah. You beat the shit out of him at the beginning, and then you don't have to. No. You that's go, so right. true. You just yeah. go, Dawn, sit down. Yeah. Yeah. And then she, you know, I can just raise my voice a little bit. She does what I tell her. She knows what's coming. She knows what's coming. She knows what's not coming. It's her fucking chubby husband. (laughs) (laughs) I have to hide my dick in the shower. She brought me a towel and I just turned and faced the wall like. Yeah, I'm ashamed too. I'm a fucking ashamed, shamed. What is that? I can't believe I'm ashamed of my, in my own fucking house. I'm ashamed to be (laughs) naked. I cover myself. (laughs) I, I, I do. I cover myself. I have the towel ready to go. Me too. And I'm, even if I'm home alone, I can't even handle seeing my own. (laughs) No, I feel that way after sex, like I'll bend over to get my thing and I have to bend over like a, like a lady wearing a skirt. (laughs) I don't want to see my asshole. Like, yeah, because I never get all of it, you know. There's got to be some kind of oh uh, yeah poo in my ass. And then like, there's like poo in wh- my ass. What do you call it? Uh, the stretch. Mar- I have like pimples on my ass. It's oh. Bad news bears. Jesus, I just became more gay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. Yeah, I I remember there was a time when I was younger where I was v- I didn't care, but now I I fucking care so much. Oh, oh. I can't even look at myself. I got a fucking sad. I remember uh, it was the other day, and I, I think Ma- I, I went like this to Max, and he, he goes, what's that? <laughs> and I had a skin tag in my armpit, and I just looked at my wife's face, and she was like this. Oof. And she was like, tell him. And I was like, ah. I was like well, fuck me, dude. I'll I know. You. I have a fatty sist on my shoulder. I'm like, I have, I ha- what is a fat? I'm like, I have fat on my fat. Like the doctor was like, you have a fatty system. Like, what's a fatty? Uh, my whole body is a fatty cyst. What does that oh, even you're mean? You... System. No, I have a cyst. Oh, they said a fatty system. No, fatty I have a fatty system. cyst Ugh. on my shoulder. Oh, that blade. sounds unpleasant. That has to be. You sure, it's not a twin. You can't. Have... <laughs> it has teeth and hair. You could, you could do an act in Vegas. <laughs> when you turn around and face the crowd, just right. <laughs> when I my back to the wall, just have her eye open up and go, "Hey guys, like, you're never gonna make it." I'm doing a residency. This bitch hates herself. <laughs> I have a residency at Coney Island in August. <laughs> oh, that is bad. Um, yeah, I do. Jessica has a brand new podcast that just came out. 
Uh, Joe, of course, has his podcast, Tuesdays with Stories, with the famous and soon-to-be holy <laughs> shit person, Mark Norman. And as soon as he becomes really famous, podcast over. So if you guys want to apply to be the Mark Norman's replacement... That's really, that's really hurtful. Come on, Joe. What the fuck? No, we're I'm not just going kidding anywhere. Around. No, you're not going anywhere. We've been on a long time. And Jessica, you have a brand new podcast. Yeah, Mark's very loyal. He wouldn't, I don't think he would walk away from It's coming out now, right? My podcast came out today. Today? Yeah. What's it called? I released three of them. It's called Relatively Sane. And I um and it's uh, it's great. I I went to school to be a therapist. My mother's a therapist. My wife is a therapist, and I'm in therapy seven times a week. But I, it's it's really m- more of a deep um podcast. I didn't want to do like a funny everyone laughing and screaming right, over having each a good other. Time, yeah, that's how we felt tonight. Yeah, <laughs> tonight's <laughs> a little more serious, and I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's bit. funny, but it's also yeah. you know yeah, you we're know talking what I mean. serious business here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah. put that on my guests. Yeah, yeah. But I just, uh, I wanted to do an interview show, right. you know, like a podcast, and it's great. People have really talked about real shit. Well, who do you have like, you had on so far? I had, uh, well, Ga- I released, Gary Gullman. Yeah, Love Bonnie him. McFarlane and Tim Dillon today. But I've interviewed Gaffigan and Sal and uh, and Lisa Lampanelli and a bunch of people. That's great. I'm doing Bill this, Burr. I'm where doing, do we find this? It's everywhere, wherever you can find a podcast. It's on my website, jessicakirsten.com. What do you want people to go? Your website for this? Yes. Sure. Jessicakirsten.com, uh, and it's uh, relatively sane. It's out today. That's great. You got some good guests on this. And too. I'm also, I also interview my family members. Whoa. So my mom's done two of them. My brother did one. So it's, yeah. it's about relationships, family. I'd love to have you do it, but you're too busy. Well, and I, Joe, you'd I'm, be amazing. I'm actually, oh, I'd be happy to do it. I love yeah, that. Mark Norman's doing it on uh, actually, Saturday. Actually, not too busy. I've been around uh, a lot this summer. Um, I don't know who, who you've talked to. But, have, uh, would you do it? Like, I, I asked Bill Burr to post it today, and he yeah. goes, if you'll have me as a guest. Like, I don't even ask <laughs> for anything. Yes. I'm so pathetic. He goes, anyway, only... It's hard. It of is course. hard, ask isn't it? Is hard. Yes. Well, what is, some what is people hard? are really good at it. They Asking. don't... Some I tell you, I, I feel like the comics, some of them With that Joe are doing Matarisi, the best. Is that what you're about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know you, but could you post my? I'm a. I have a tour this summer <laughs> for the Treehouse Comedy Club in Connecticut. <laughs> Would you mind posting it on your website and asking all your friends to post it? Um, it's a bringer. They say, um, sometimes it's just, they say it things. People will be like, "It doesn't hurt to ask. It never hurts to ask." But I'm like, sometimes it does. Sometimes it hurts. <laughs> I have it from personal experience with. Yeah. You know, my stepbrother's famous. It's been hard. Like, it's very hard for me to ask for favors. Yeah, sometimes people very. are like, hey, can I come uh, fucking uh, sit in on you and your wife hanging out? Can I open for you? And you go, no, I, I hate this guy. Yeah. That hurts. But I'm saying some ask. people also, some people have no problem asking, and they get really far. Yeah. You, you, well, you know, there's some comics who Yeah, but really they get really far. Here's the thing. It's, it's this, um, you just want to make it on your own. You want to just put, you want to think of something. Do it, put it out there, have people respond to it. And that's not the way the world works anymore. I know. Okay? And and there's a lot of people that literally will just do whatever it takes to become popular. Not funny, but popular. And then it, they'll just ask, be nice, ask you for something, ask you for something, and just keep going. And then all of a sudden they have all this stuff that they got from other people. Mm-hmm. And you just want it to be yours. You want it to be on your own merit. But there's a fine line between going, look, Jess, you're one of the funniest people out there. Okay, so nobody, you know, everybody knows that. So when you ask for something, people are like, of course you have fucking asshole. You, I love you. You're the best. We've been in the trenches for a mm-hmm. long time. You're making some progress right now. Things are happening. Yes, of course. So you got to know, you got to kind of know where you're I at. I know you're right. You have to be somewhere in the middle. And I'm trying to be yeah. more... Uh, yeah. You know, I'm trying, try, the, the diva's not the right word, but like, you know, they'll be like, well, what do you want? I'm like, a stool and a water bottle. Like, I'm so, yeah. I need to start raising Asserting. that up a little bit. Yeah. That's what my yeah, therapist always says. Well, here's the thing is that we deal with these people that will, uh, as soon as you do that, they're like, oh, fucking whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. She's a bitch yeah. or difficult. And if you or, don't yeah. ever, if it doesn't happen right now, then they treat you like shit. Then they're like, go oh, fuck yourself. We, that that exists. You can't mm-hmm. say it doesn't. I've seen club owners and clubs treat people, you know, the the, and then there's people that are famous that take advantage of that. I know. Too. It's like you know, uh, take out the green M and M's. Go fuck yourself. You know, there's certain things where they treat people like dogs because they can. You know, so there's a, 
But the, you're not like that. Everybody knows you're no. a sweetheart. The key to asking, I think, is you have to have a relationship with the person and a quality product. It's weird when people yes. ask for favors and you're like, I don't even fucking know you. That's what's insane. Or like, you know them and that's it's not insane quality. To me. It's yeah. crazy. That is really yeah. crazy. And they stink. Yeah. I've had some people send me messages that I don't even know. That's what I mean. That yeah. have said, can you get me an audition at the cellar? I'm like, I met you once in Norwich, Connecticut five years ago at a gig. Like, I don't even know who you know. are. I've ne- It's crazy. Everybody and their mother thinks that I can get them in the cellar. I know. And it's like, listen, I, I don't have that. If anything, it's, it's worse for you if I say something. Because if you, f- if you fuck me, if you don't do good... I'm fucked. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, she I don't, gets upset. She if, gets if, upset. I know. I got, a, I got in, you know, I got in trouble Name with names, one of our friends bro. a week ago, uh, the guy we know. I got fucking talked to, you know. Really? Cause, yeah, because I tried to fucking say something. It's like, you know, don't do that. It's like, all right. You know, but you never know. Like Joe DeRosa just got his pass at the club now. Oh, nice. Oh, so that's great. And then uh, what's her name? Um, who's the other girl? The blonde girl. Rosebud Baker got passed. Oh, nice. Weekend, so. so amazing. Yeah. It's I just a weird think thing. it doesn't make sense sometimes because some people she doesn't want to look at at all. You know, I don't know. It just doesn't. It's hard to know who to suggest and who not to. One yeah. time she said a thing that I thought was interesting where she said, um, when you recommend, I might have said this before here. When you recommend someone, you should be doing her the favor, not the comedian the favor. Right. right. She said that to me too. But it's like, how do you tell somebody you're not ready to do the seller? Because who the fuck am I? I don't know. I don't even well, know if I was there. ready when I started. You know, I don't know what ready even means Yeah, sometimes. but when somebody asks you, like, oh, hey, yeah, I'm, I and I'm like, do you think you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's like, half the time I want to go, you're not. You're just not. You're not going to fucking make it. You're just not ready. I know who works the cellar, and you think that it's easy. It's not. You get on stage there, and something happens. When you get that five minutes in front of Esty on a Saturday night, after somebody like Norton or whatever just murdered, it, I don't care who you think you are. It's, it's it affects you. Oh my god! You know, it's I didn't pass the first time. She looked at me. and She goes, "Oh no, no, no! You come. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> you come back in a year or two. Yeah, and I did. I came back in two years, but she it did not go mm-hmm. well. The scariest thing. It's so scary. It I get sick for people when they have to audition. <laughs> Like I, physically I, uh, sick. I, can't. I love it. I love because I know when there are there, like, I, especially if I know them. Like Joe, it made me fucking. I remember he came upstairs and he goes, "What do I say?" I go, "Nothing. Just sit here and be you." What I'm you? shocked. He, I, I'm, I'm completely shocked right now that he just got passed. I had no idea he was passed before, but he'd been away for so long. She oh, wanted to see him again. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Same with me. Really? Really? Yeah. Well, I had a similar thing. I got passed in '07. And that was before. That was way back. That was before there was a bunch of people there that didn't really have a lot of. Mm-hmm. Cra- I think I was one of the early ones with no real credits because DePaulo recommended me, and she's like, "You must be very special." He's never recommended anyone, and I was like, "Great," because I didn't even ask him. He just did it. But that was back when it, I think it was like you had to have two recommendations yeah. and yep. multiple TV. Cre- it was like serious. Well, back when the seller only had the seller, you had four shows on Friday and Saturday, right? And you had two, two shows during the week, and we only had one club and one long show. Oh, the one long show that was even before that. Then yeah. So that's when the seller just started popping, right? And and these spots were fucking precious, precious. Yeah. yeah. So it was um, getting one was like. But right. I did, uh, I, I auditioned, and then I passed, and then I did one set, and I went up to Sherrod, who murdered, and uh, I went up, and I just couldn't, I was, I stunk, and I was, like, running out of material. Like, I couldn't remember my material. I did, uh, I did like, 12 so minutes, scary. and I was, like, looking for the light and shit, <laughs> and I was, like, sweating. I had flop sweat, and I was, like, I don't have any more jokes. I remember, I, you know that feeling, we've all done it? Where all of a sudden you're in a bit that you're like, I haven't done this bit in three years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Where you're you're like, like, where did I... this come from? Yeah. I don't even know where the fuck this bit came Like, I dropped this bit because it's. That stuck. always happens at some, f- you know, these stupid festival things or when it's a bunch of comedians and the crowd stinks. I always find myself just doing Me a, too. Just a joke from a, 10 years ago. Well, I, always... know, I know it will get work a little bit. 
It always coincides with that trickle of back sweat down the middle of your back. <laughs> it happens at the exact same time you feel that. You're like, I don't I, even know how this bit I goes. I always have that. So I can't, I can't, it's always, <laughs> right now I have it. Um, I'm but, like a fucking gorilla. <laughs> then I came up and uh, she was like, because back then, <laughs> if I remember, she was just around a lot. She well, she, It wasn't yeah, just weekends. People don't understand that back in the day, SD yeah, used she to was. sit in the room. Yes, yes. I she remember that. In a chair, oh, smoking. Oh, oh that's, so that's, she, that's way back. So, so she crazy. used to watch every fucking show. So you're sitting there and Estee's in the hallway just watching you murder or bomb, you know, you you know. So that's that's when you really had to have your shit together back then. Well, this she wasn't like that, but she was there. It was like yeah. a Wednesday and she was in the building. And then I came upstairs and she was like, "How did it go?" And I thought I shouldn't say it went great if she was down there, if she hears. <laughs> like I don't want her to think that's what I think good is. Right. So I was like, "Uh, oh, not not great." And yeah. she was like, "Really?" And then yeah. I talked to Colin later, and Colin was like, never say that. Never. He's like, yeah. just tell her it was great. He's yes. like, what are you doing? No. And then I didn't get a spot. I put in for like <laughs> 10 months, and then it, was, it wasn't even email. It was phone back then. Right. She would have known. And that. I put in for like 10 months, and then just was like, I guess I don't work there she, anymore. She would have known. He's right. She would have watched known. it anyway. Yeah. Or heard from the test. waitresses exactly. or waiter, yeah. whatever. And uh, yeah. I was out. And then I came back with you years later. Yeah, yeah. In 2013, which was a long, even that was seven years ago now. Seven fucking years ago. Yeah, it's a weird thing, man. It's a weird thing. This club is a, uh, it's like so, so many people want to be in. And, yeah. and it's like some, you just not, it's, I don't, I, look, I get it, but you know, I remember when I came in, I wanted to be in the strip. The strip was the hottest club, the cellar wasn't. The strip was the motherfucker. Everybody was me up too, there. and he didn't pass me. He wouldn't pass me. He didn't no get fuck, me at all. Not, he didn't get people who killed. He didn't. He's like you. He's like you're not. Your characters aren't funny. Like he was so critical. I hated him. Yeah, I was so happy. With yeah, him. I hated him at the time. When he came in with a glove with missing fingers, <laughs> I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Made me so happy. I knew you were gonna <laughs> say that. I swear to God. Hey, look at that fucking stupid illusion. Oh yeah, it was like it was like a candle. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Robert. <laughs> He'd hold up that fucking gloved yeah. hand. Yeah. Be like, what's up, dude? With Vanessa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember, Vanessa used to date him. She was married to him. Oh, oh shit. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, God. But he'd be like, you, you don't yeah. have. You don't have. We're it. giving him like Count Dracula. He didn't <laughs> you didn't even don't have, have an accent. I'd be like, all right, here, here's your finger but back. He I found this on the floor. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down back to the cellar. Here, take this. Take your, take your hey, toe. Can I, can I have your knuckle? <laughs> well, I was going to. Do you want this back? <laughs> Why is there an ear on my left? <laughs> you know what? He said horrible. He said horrible things to people. Yes, I'm not kidding. Like wow. not even to. I mean, he didn't like me, yeah. but the things he said to people were yeah. so uncalled for. Yeah, it was not okay. Like, yeah, we already yeah. have enough black people here. You're too He's fat to be a. Con I mean, he would say things that were so <laughs> wow. crazy. That's what he said to me. What do you say? He said, you, we black. have enough black people. You too fat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but I'm white. <laughs> I remember he did tell me. He goes, we uh, have enough white guys working here. I go, my five minutes was about me looking Puerto Rican, not white. He goes, we have a lot of Spanish too. We have enough Spanish. I was like, well, you don't fucking want me. That's just you went. You just flip flopped. You yeah, piece of shit. You fucking cocksucker. And then I pointed oh, at him and made him jealous. A girl, he did say, I don't remember who it was, but he did say, you're not pretty enough to, to do wow. That do was this. true. What? It was true. And he, it was, he really was, was me. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It was much worse than I'm even she saying. She was ugly, though. He had a point. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gross. No. Was it you? Uh, it sounds like it might have been. Ah, she, think, she, thinks she's, she thinks she's off the charts at 10. She's I, beautiful. Do we have to bring this up every podcast? I think she's our. She's a Jersey Six. That's crazy no. to say. <laughs> Jersey Six. No way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. No. I think. Joe's never on my side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're whatever. It's because you and Joe have the same body. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. No, I'm kidding. And That's the true. same, the I same don't know breast who's size that an too. Too, it's either. You're very lovely. No, of course, yeah, Gabby, you're beautiful. She is. For me, there's only my wife, of course. I know. Yeah, of course. How That's is that? I, I, I look at your life, and I would fucking kill myself if I had. A, I do think there is Jeez. something what? about. <laughs> Wait, no, because, whose life? Well, Joe, ha, tr Joe, and his wife travel together and do shows together. Their best yes. Which, which, which like if you. I had to do that with my wife, I admire that you guys do it and you love each other. But if I had to do that with my wife, I couldn't. I we'd wind up just killing each other. I think we're easy. I don't know. Yeah? yeah. But you guys you both, out. don't you both work on yourself? I mean, it makes a big difference if you work on yourself. I do a lot. 
Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, even if one, seriously, even if one person does, it's very helpful. Yeah, no, it's good. We go I, on the road, and uh, she's good. We have good, um, what do you call it, yin-yang things. Right, yeah. Like, I like to uh, make a plan. I have OCD. I'm like, what if we eat here? And then we get up, and she's pretty like, all right, that sounds good to me. Let she's me ask you a question. Easy, this, what if she becomes, what if, what if she just pops and has to go on the road and headline all the time, and... And, and, and that would she, be great. She'd be making, would have money. But what if she was like, all right, I'm gonna, I gotta go here, and she doesn't want to take you with her. Like you can't. You're like, I'm not. You're not gonna open for her, right? No, I mean, she would have to be really big for me to open for her. But I would if she was, if she was Amy Schumer, I'd be happy to open for her. So you'd be fine. You'd just be all right. I'll open for you, no problem. Yeah, well, I'm you, assuming she's taking you, care of me, but I mean, right now I make good <laughs> money, so yeah, it's like like I'm not you, opening for Louis anymore because I have my own work, right. and he's doing much smaller venues. But <laughs> <laughs> um, you said that into a microphone. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, that's amazing! <laughs> and he's doing much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting what I used to get. <laughs> um, he gave me a Seiko last week. <laughs> but I would be. Thr- I mean, I think we've had this conversation before, but we've had almost these ideal uh, exact things nope. where you're like, you're gonna have a kid, and what if Sarah was huge? Well, I, I still think you might have a kid someday because you. I, how old are you? She's fifty nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I'm not. You're not gonna have it with her vagina. Um, you're gonna have to bake it in somebody yeah, else. Yeah, we're gonna have to find one on the street or whatever. But um, we'll have it for you. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an oven. <laughs> she doesn't eat. We have an Italian. My wife is an Italian bakery. <laughs> I um. I just think. I think that like if 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 you if she becomes big where she's headlining, what if you're here and she's there? Like you never see each other on weekends. That's that'd, that'd be, be all right. tough. I mean, like we'd have to, uh, you know, you work your schedules around it. Right. I mean, that's like that a lot of the times. I'm on the road. Like I'm about to leave for two straight weeks. I won't see her. It right. Bums wow. me out. It makes me sad. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's all right. That's we have a, a long strong time. Relationship. It's hard. Do you should write a show together. Yeah, people have said that, but uh, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> what are you I think that about? would be it's great. Hard. It's not that no one's done that, have they? No, except for everybody. Who's uh, married? Uh, uh, married? Carrie Louise, Rich Voss. No, doing writing a show together. Yeah, they've. I mean, every comedy couple in the world has thought of that. Yeah. Yeah, Rich Voss and Bonnie, Carrie Louise and Tom Cotter. Um, yeah, but this is one where we're both good. That's right. different, right? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, uh, we know. <laughs> you don't um, say that. Um, I don't know. I be. Mean, I, I love when my wife and family come. But if they were there every week, I would fucking lose my Well, we mind. don't do every week, though. A lot of weeks we're not together. A no bunch of weeks. Like, some of the weeks I don't want to, um, what do you call that, uh, make her, put her in that situation. Like, Bobby Jewel, Side Splitter. I'm not, I don't want my wife hanging out at Tampa yeah. Side Splitters. Right. I no know. It depends where. It's no place has for she my e- wife. Has she ever, like, just annihilated in front of you where she made it hard for you? Um, no, because she's very strong. She's very good. She does jokes. I think it's hard to get buried by someone that's a good comic. Right. I think, like, for the most, I mean, some are, some can, I mean, uh, you two could fucking bury anybody. But, like, there's very few acts where someone's just standing there telling bit, telling jokes. Right. Where it's like, and I feel like I'm a strong comic. Right. I think you're great. I, I get, really I get what you're saying, though. Like, I wouldn't want to follow you guys on the road, because you guys are high energy, and you guys fucking kill, well, like, I've nonstop. I've watched but some people, like, when I watched Mitch Hedberg just tell jokes, and cr- I've never seen anyone crush like that. It was the craziest really? thing I've ever seen. Yeah. There's well, sometimes he fucking where it, crushed. It, I was in Michigan with him. Yeah. But it was just joke, joke, joke. But it, uh, it was crazy. Uh, you know, M- uh, Mulaney? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to follow that fuck. I've he had to kills. follow him at the cellar. Doing jokes, yeah. and it, it, it's another thing. But there's some there's act- a tempo that he gets, almost like music. Yeah, he kills that, yeah, yeah. that he gets the crowd on, and he fucking murders. Well, there's certainly a handful of acts that are great and tough. Fall like Big J, obviously. I wouldn't want to like follow oh, he's him. Very I'll fall that fat fuck. But uh, <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> but people Pretty that slow. for the most part, him. people that stand there. And <laughs> I love Big J. I'm kidding. People that stand there and tell jokes, like good jokes. You just go. I'm also going to do that as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. I um, think it's different. It's very different. It's hard for me to follow people who are high energy. It is. Yeah. The, well, I think the key is to bring it. Back yes. Down. That's like the oldest. Everyone's made that mistake at some point mm-hmm. too, where someone's just up there fucking high energy killing. You're like, hey, me too. <laughs> right. I know. I know. And then the crowd's like, what? You got to like take it down and be like, let me well, just you, settle this. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Well, you just got to take them on your ride. Right. Whatever right. it is. Like I had to follow her, and I got it's fucking 
annoying how hard you kill. You, you're you hard seller. to follow. Yeah, well, both. But you I mean, are very hard. I've had a really hard you're, time. You're a fuck. I mean, you're. I mean, a, a devastation happens after you. You know, even this weekend. You know, I have to. We I always have to close every fucking show at the cellar every weekend. Yeah, which is fine. I don't mind it any. I don't care anymore. I've I've let go of the anxiety of it. I used to have, but it still is like f- you, someone's just murdering. Yeah, and they've seen three people just murder. And now it's a, and then you, and they always go, "Are you guys ready? We got one more." And it's like, I know. Just don't. Just bring me the fuck up. Because now everything is... And it's a lot of pressure to have to close these shows a lot. Because I, I find that I can't do... On those shows, I can't do a lot of new stuff. I'm going up last. They just saw a sick show. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. One person after the next. So I'm going to go up and try new stuff. Like, it's it's hard. It's yeah. harder. That's usually... frustrating with the seller sometimes, too. With Not not to sound like an old whatever. What the hell is that? I think it's a the ghost guy who here. lives here. Yeah. You ever see the... Oh. Hey, buddy. How are you? Sorry. You ever see the movie Hi. Real Genius? No. Is that a documentary about Val me? Kilmer? Val Kilmer, real genius. I've heard of it, but I didn't see it. And yeah. the, he he's um the geniuses and he lives at a college right there. It's a, one of my favorite movies of all time actually. I love this movie. Very silly movie. And in the dorm room they have a guy living in the closet. Another genius. That sounds and like he me. Just, he just comes in and out. <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's like a real genius moment. That's the guy. He's staying. He's Noam's friend. He's staying in there. I His didn't know what is, uh, just happened. I have to be honest with you because I wasn't aware. And I was someone not just either. Went, yeah, That's it was very you interesting. Say at the top of right. the show, a human there he is right there. And he's in like work clothes. Like it was just. <laughs> yeah. No, he was trying to. He's trying. I think he was trying to slow roll in, but he just comes in. He goes in his room. That's it. All yeah. right. He's in there. Yeah, it's just. He's in there making rice. And he cook. looks professional. Like he doesn't look like he would belong. Uh, he's just making rice cooker bombs in there. <laughs> doing, uh, <laughs> to, uh, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, He's about to blow up a school. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> He's just, yeah. He has a list of people. He has a trail of blood from his bag. There's <laughs> a hooker's head there. Wait, um, what's this eyeball? <laughs> oh, it's Lucian's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you very, uh, uh, shut up. Yeah. I don't see it. And then his eye comes out. That would have been perfect. <laughs> Could I have that back, please? Um, anywho. I, um, oh, fuck. I, uh, yeah, this weekend was a tough, the kid stuff, man, was tough. And then and, you know it's so funny too is uh, and then uh, I I are you okay? I I tell you what I'm telling you the today was fucked up because maybe butter's not good for you. <laughs> are you okay? No, <laughs> I just looking at. I woke up today. I had all the shit ready, and then something happened with my head. What? Like something happened with my energy and my head. I woke up this morning. I went to the dentist. I got a cleaning. Looks great. Yeah. Oh, they're fucking great. And th- what'd you say? Uh, you said uh, you? <laughs> you? I'm, I t- spot it, you got it. <laughs> spot it, you got it. Some yellow no, teeth. Yeah. I see them. That's a <laughs> great fuck. No, your teeth look great. They're your fantastic. lips are unbelievable. It's hard to see your teeth because your <laughs> lips are so fucking hot. They're so, yeah, they're so <laughs> succulent. They're unbelievable. You have so, magical lips. I come back, I take drum <laughs> lessons, right? I take my drum lesson uh, from my guy. And uh, after that, I'm like, all right, I have all the shit. I got to build the dog run. I'm doing all the stuff. I'm going to go make all these phone calls. I have all the stuff for the tour. And uh, my fucking head started hurting, and all my energy got sucked out of me. Mm. And I didn't know what happened. Like, so I was like, am I having a heart attack? Am I dying? Like, I was talking to my wife, and my wife's like, just just go. Well, no, you're not dying. Stop. Dad. Just, just go. She's like, <laughs> she didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And uh, I had to keep pushing myself dizzy? all day. I was I was a second behind myself. Uh, I don't I know, know if that, that makes feeling. sense. I know what you mean. Yeah, like, like a hangover. Yes, but I'm I'm completely sober. Like I was a I, second. I understand that. I'm just <laughs> trying to connect the feeling. Right, a second behind myself all day long, all fucking day long. Hmm. I've been like, I hear myself say something, and I'm behind it. And then Max comes home, and he's like, "Dad," and I'm like, "Dude." It ain't happening. <laughs> go get that iPad and fucking crush your brain right now with Minecraft. <laughs> I fucking go look at whatever video you I know. want. Uh, I gotta explain to Max too because he, now he's listening to rap, and oh, we we can't God. let every song has the N word in it. Every song I can't. I'm sorry. Every he's like I, I love Jay Z. I'm like you can't listen to him because he. I gotta I, every time the N word comes up, I have to go. Rap, rap. <laughs> I'm just in the front going. Rap, 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 rap. You are one of. Yeah. Go to head up. You can't have to follow over. <laughs> African American. <laughs> you can't have what? Yeah, DePaulo. 
I said, you can't have the Apollo over. Yeah, every song <laughs> is fucking uh, this. And, and Dawn goes, well, what do we say to him? I go, you say you can't say that word. And she's like, but, but it's in every song. And she's like, why, why, why are they saying it in the songs? To meaning, be fair, it mean, is confusing. Meaning, meaning black people, I'm like, they get to say it. It is, co- and it, we it, don't because of we we did so much <laughs> fucked up shit. To, they get to say it. Wait, what do we do? What? What do we do? Uh, we did nothing. That's why it's so tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do shit. But I gotta. I hear it at the dentist. It's very confusing. The gym. Uh-huh. It's all like you know Latinos in it. But uh-huh. I hear the N word five hundred and fifty <laughs> times yes. in the thirty seconds I'm changing my underwear. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. very confusing. Just hang up the phone and don't call Luis Gomez. <laughs> oh, you get nervous loves to say it. I mean? get nervous around it. I don't even say that word. Yeah, even if they're... I mean, they're saying... I mean, it I've never a, said it. They're saying it in a way of like, what's up, homie? I get whatever. it. But, but it is unsettling. Because it feels weird because it's so much... I, it I, does I, feel I, weird. I leave like this. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you, you ever catch yourself humming the song and you, and then you, that part's coming up and you, you gotta go... <laughs> And you, like, no, stop I don't yourself. listen to rap. It's too. I'm too I anxious. L- I love rap. I can't. But you know what's still great about the cellar? Last night I heard a Cat Williams joke that's hilarious. Yeah. And I want you know you gotta. He says the N word every thirty seconds. or two words, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, more than thirty seconds. He says it more than I say fuck. But you can't quote the bit without saying the word. Right. right. So I was at the cellar table, and it's Keith. It's all of us. It's nice to have a last. Bastion, where I was like, have you guys heard this bit? I just did the bit, and everyone's yeah. howling, and not one person was like, oh, you better, uh, boo, boo. It's nice. Yeah. I'm saying at the table, you can still well, say Keith the said N-word that, if you'd like. With you. Yeah, Keith. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, Anyways, it's my a point fucking is, weird word. You should be able to quote it without it being a big deal, but it is a big deal, so you got to do what we, we're doing right But now. we came up with the word being used. Like, I, you know, I would hear people well, use that word. we. Just say white people. Well, it was no one just white people though. It was Puerto Ricans. It was white people. It was black people. But originally, it was white people. I think, right? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I don't hear know the it sometimes, it. not around my family, white but around certain people. people it. It's w- very uncomfortable for me to hear it from white people. Oh, for white people, it's very bizarre. I don't. I mean, very I don't have black people on my show, so I don't know. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, We've had a couple. You should <laughs> if you wanted to really <laughs> go somewhere. <laughs> but I think white people started it, right? I don't know. Let's find the history of the N word. I, I would assume. Isn't that a new Netflix that, show? May, actually, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe either. it was. It was. It wasn't their word. Here we go. Right now. It and Ready? It okay. Read it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. The word is. The, let's let's come up with them. The word peaches is an ethnic slur typically uh, directed at black people. The word originated in the 18th century as an adaptation of the Spanish Negro and describes the Latin objective. Uh, peaches, uh, which means black. It you, was used <laughs> derogatorily, and by the mid 20th century, particularly in the United States, is used by non African Americans, became ambiguous, uh, pejorative, a racist insult. Accordingly, it began to disappear what? from general popular uh, culture. However, it remains in use. And is in its uh, various forms used increasingly frequently in 2010s by the African American almost themselves. Amongst. Amongst them. Or in uh, self expression, being the most popular common swear word in its various forms in hip hop music. So hip hop actually kept yes. it alive. This is they not did. in the 2010s. Quentin I mean, Dan like, Dino. Biggie was saying it in the 90s. Yeah. Well, that's pretty funny, right. though, that, that it was. It was I mean, not too many white people say that word anymore. I mean, I'm, Max is never going to say it. He's never going to know it, really, except... But it, the only way he hears it is in hip-hop music. That's the only place he hears the word in the music. Uh, right, and if he were to repeat it, forget about I mean, yeah, could but, you imagine? Yeah, he goes to school and... Yeah. I think that um, we're not running into a lot of people that use it. Yeah. But I think no. there is a lot of them. I do, too. Well, not here, but yeah, in America, absolutely. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Especially now, since, since it's so divided. I mean, people are just so, you know, I think yeah. people probably say it now than they more than they did five years ago. Hey. Don't you? Hey. Yes. Well, people are also just using other words. So. Like kike? Yeah, well. Is anyone saying words that? Words that mean. No, like no, no. That's, that word's not. That's <laughs> not not for word. them. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. just use other words for black. I mean, that's what they're doing now. So Like what? I'm not going to say them. I don't have a career yet. But 
Yeah. That's when you can say it. Yeah, exactly. You, we yeah. can well, it's say like, it. This is your uh, time. Like uh, Greek, they just say mavri. It's like like that. They'll just say that like right. instead. So, right. Yeah, try it's to, a try weird to disguise word. it. It's weird though, because my kid's not going to say it. Your kids aren't going to say it. You're not having kids, so I'm they're try not going to so say it. It's so hard to get your kid to say it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna pull him aside, and you're going to think I'm giving like a pep talk, and he's going to come over and say it. And I'm be like, you should have told him to say it so that the girls played with him. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Yeah, you fucking nick em poops. What's Whoa. up, my peaches? <laughs> 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 Don't put me in the closet, you nickels. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys are getting close. Gabby, just say it. <laughs> no. You're getting close. Give you 20 bucks. Because no. she, she said it. I love that we're dancing around. You and I have both probably said it 30 times in the history of this podcast. Well, we've always... But quoting. Yes. Well, we, look, uh, quoting Lewis, yes. If, uh, <laughs> <laughs> telling Lewis to stop saying it. Yeah, that's, how, that's how Lewis says hi to me. <laughs> That's his bro. Well, no, Lewis say, will dude, hit the ER too. He's uh, not even saying the word we're talking about. He'll really care. nail it. Well, Puerto yeah. Ricans feel like they can say the word. Why? I don't know. I'm not Puerto Rican, uh, but they feel like you they can. can. Say it. Yeah, I don't know why either. Why they? Can. I don't think they can. Honestly, I got called a fiesta n word one time. I still don't think it's okay to say. So. That's really funny. It was in jest. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I, w- so. I would actually see a pinata one. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a funnier. If I was going to call Let's you, take that. a poll. <laughs> so I'd hit you with a poll if you won. Um, um, can we stop saying polls? It's a little insensitive. Also, <laughs> I mean, we're going to be a country that doesn't. We're we're going to be someday where we don't say any offensive shit to anybody. Well, we're not. What do you mean? Because we're comics. But I'm saying, well, I, he, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I have to tell you, I am at this point. I am lost. I don't know what if it's people are going to go which way, like start saying more or saying less. I, I don't know. I think I, we I have that. to start saying more. I mean, you have to when you go up. If you, I go up on stage and I have to snap them out of it. No, we do. But I'm like, saying yeah, like but, the like, normal person. What do you think is going to happen in society? I don't mean us. Like we'll just be, you know, take risks and be free. But I don't know. what's going to happen? I don't know. It's going to be because there's uh, free speech. Which I feel yeah, but they're free speech, in. but they're saying don't say what, what, free speech, but don't say this because it's offensive. It's like, but plenty of people are and being fine. See, I think this is a, a it's a bit of a misnomer if that's the right word. We talk about this a lot. Yeah, but we're all our show, uh, Legion of Skanks, uh, Ari, and Rogan. All these guys are huge right now, and they're saying whatever they want. They're I know. saying crazy stuff. So it's actually it's actually a great time for comedy. You can I lose agree. your shit, but for the most part, but comics aren't a lot getting of, in trouble for shit they're saying. There's a lot of comics that aren't saying shit, though. Right. But Chappelle very, just blew right through it. He did not get in any trouble at all. He's fine. Yeah, but of course he's not going to because of, of course he's not. But there's certain people that will. But what are some comics? Most of the comics have gotten fucked over me, too, obviously. Most of that's them, what, rightly so. But saying things, who's a comic that's really been destroyed for saying something? Godfrey lost Aflac, but is he really... Cry. I mean, he's still working. For saying something? Yeah, yeah I don't know. We That's what I mean. We talk about, about this a lot, but like, what are but you some get do, a, doing okay. stuff? But you There's get a lot people. of shit. Of course. You get a lot of shit. You get a lot of shit, but like that's you, part of free speech. That's part of being okay, an Okay, so you get a lot of shit. And I feel like some people get, you're going to be surprised I'm saying this, but I feel like some people get more shit than others, like meaning white men right now. Comics, oh, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Like, I can get away with saying, st- I'm just being real. I don't care if anyone course, gets yeah. the truth. I can get away with saying stuff like something, whereas if you, either one of you said it, it would yeah. be a, a major problem. A major but problem. we've said outrageous stuff on this show and yeah, on but my a long show, time ago, show. not really anymore. No, but I mean, I mean everybody's gun shy on this show now. <laughs> not on Legion of Skanks, they don't give a fuck. Say whatever the fuck you want over there. Right. I just think there's not a lot of real uh, stories where comedians have been really fucked over for jokes they've made. Can I say something though on, on that? It's like. I have to look at my life now, too, where I was 10 years ago. I was a different person, too. Yeah, of I, so you can't hold me accountable. Like, I had to stop holding myself. Like, I was feeling guilty because I'm not being outrageous or I'm not being fucked up or I'm not doing, you know, saying fuck. I'm like, well, I'm not that guy right now. Yeah. I was that guy when I was single or hanging out and I didn't have kids and I didn't, I was just. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, you're old but and boring. It's look fun. at Stern. <laughs> yes. Look no, at Howard yeah. Stern. Yeah. Like no, you're right. You're right. absolutely right. It's it's some type. I get nervous when I'm like, I guess I am a fucking old little fuck. Where it's like I don't believe in that anymore. That doesn't really. I don't want to see that shit anymore. People change. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes also, laughable.com. They changed. Who changed? Didn't we already promote them? Not today. Yeah, I right, did. 
I said laughable.com. Go get their app on both platforms. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you want, a speech? We just didn't pull it up. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's him. Yell no, at him. Mike. I did it. You did? I feel like people yeah. can get in trouble for tweets, though. Yeah, tweets are tougher because there's no context. It's a written exactly. they use it as like a statement. But part of that, and we talked about this before, part of that because that so many comics now are tweeting so many, like, uh, we got a like serious statement, and then they tweet jokes, so they kind of become conflated. Then when you take a joke, you go, "Oh, that one's not serious." Yeah, I read that about today. I was that's what I brought up today. When uh, who was it? Um, Bonnie, uh, somebody, uh, one another girl comic, and Clyde, and uh, what's her name? <laughs> Liza, Liza, Schlesinger, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Trager. Trager, Lisa Trager. They were like, I went. <laughs> I went to uh, block, uh, 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 unfollow all the comedians who followed OJ today, and then I realized how many they're really following him. I have to, I'd have to uh, unfollow all my comedian friends because they were following all following someone doesn't mean that you support them. Yeah, people were upset that people followed but it, OJ. Like, but it's like it's, it's like it's like that, and then it was like, yeah, me too. And then it was like this thread of, I was like. Uh, I was like, well, are you going to unfollow? You know, I'm not that oh, I was I'm looking at it on the screen. Yeah, fuck. I was good. Exactly. But then Nikki, what did Nikki say? Scroll down. Uh, I follow 70 who are following him. So upsetting. Just counting, of course, if eight of those 70s are women. Right? And it's like, now I have to look. It's like, what the fuck? Do you guys follow Who Pat gives a fuck? That's a funny tweet. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> Do you guys follow Pat? I don't know. I, don't, I get upset about things, but not stuff like that. I can't worry about who's following who. I can yeah. barely get out of bed. Yes, that's what I'm... I'm not kidding. I can barely function. I have to work so hard every day to just be okay. I cannot look at who's following who. I mean that for real. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, if I spent all my time looking at who's following me, yes. who's not following me, who's following this, per- I, I, I be in a home. I'm fucking done with, and and you know what? I'm done with it. You're absolutely right. I fucking hate it, and I hate. Oh, this this is how you have to make it. I hate that fucking talk too. You got to do this now. Go fuck yourself. Do what? Whatever. Yeah. Every the next guy the who just way, made yeah. it had. I gotta I gotta get on Snapchat again because now sna- whatever the fuck it is. No, it's however you do it, your way. It's not, there is not, there's no one way. Everybody has a fuck it. Everybody has a speech they want to give you on how to do it, and it's annoying. It's like, it's, maybe I don't make it. Maybe it's this so is as random. far as it is. You made it. Huh? You did make it. Don't and say is, you didn't make it. Exactly. Just what is making it even mean? You've like, really made it. Like what's compared that? To, You've made it compared yeah, to. If you're not making it, what the fuck is Mike doing? <laughs> no. Look, I'm, I'm fine, but there's a certain things I want to do, but you just have to find your own way to get there. You can't. I know. You, it's, it's almost like you have to have blinders on mm-hmm. because people are going to say no to you. People mm-hmm. are going to say that's not a good idea or this stinks or that. And or you got to do it this way. You got to. This is the way it's supposed to be done for no reason. And it's like meaning like it. They're <laughs> like whatever you. If you really, I really believe if you really want something and you're, you know, it's a good idea and you're passionate about it, you can make it happen somehow. I believe you're right. I, I believe really the same do. Shit. Take your passion, make, make it happen. happen. <laughs> he had the note. I I try (laughs) try not to look at what other people are doing as much as I can. When we moved to New York, we went from eight fifty rent, a thousand rent, and then we moved. I told Dawn, "I'm leaving. Are you coming?" She's like, "Yeah." And this is when we were dating. A thousand dollars made you leave? A thousand dollars in California, Ah. and I, I we drove here, and I was like, "I'm moving in that building right there." It was a doorman building, twenty two hundred dollars a month. She goes, "We can't do it." I go, "We'll do it." Don't worry about it. If I have to get five jobs and you get five jobs, we can do it. Who gives a fuck? That's ten jobs. That was ten jobs. And we did it. We, I put my shit in the storage unit across the street from the place. Dead. I go, because that's where we're fucking moving. And I went in. We applied for it. We got in. We And we it was yep. no problem. You made it happen. And then made I made it happen. happen. Dancing through the night. I love that. Hey, let him go. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. You make shit happen. You make it happen. Make no matter- it happen. <laughs> but you got to stop saying it. Or I'm going to keep singing. <laughs> you have to now. You can't wait. Not you, but I'm saying we can't wait for anyone to come to us, and it's just not realistic. Yeah. Because everybody, everybody has an excuse. 
why you're not going to make it. Of course. And then when you're making it, everybody's like, wow, fucking. And I don't even know what that means. I'm being honest. Like someone like said, to, because I now I'm afraid to say it because you're going to sing it. What? Ma- Just make it happen. In a world. Thank you. Made Do it before I say it. Okay. Um, no. What, <laughs> what is, like, I think for all of us, that's different. I don't know, because making it for me is to be able to fill a theater and do stand up. Right. And Fine. it used to be to star on Saturday Night Live or to do this or do that. It's changed over the years. Yeah. And I don't even know if I want to be enormous comp like where, where everywhere you go every single person knows who you I mean I don't no, I suck. I used to want that though so I, I think we have to figure out what making it is for each of us I think it's 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 time too it's a certain time like like right now I wanted to focus in like this tour we're doing creeps with kids I've wanted this to happen for two years I started you know you've been on it I I want I wanted it's this great. to go down right and now it's finally here and it's finally getting pushed up the hill. And it's great. I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun. I'm, but one of the things that's great, I don't have to be on the road by myself this year. Yeah. So a lot of the time, I'm going to be with people I love or like a lot <laughs> and uh, have fun and not have to wear and have this anxiety about the gigs. Um, we're just going to roll in, do a show, have fun, go get some food, shoot the shit. The other thing was taking care of myself physically, which I'm like... If I don't make if if I make fuck it oh I gotta get on TV I gotta do this I gotta become more popular I gotta get this and I gotta make I'm gonna I'm fucked I know but if I can pick one or two things to focus in on then I'm done so trying to get healthy trying to get my shit together physically and this tour that's all I'm fucking worried about that's it and everything else the podcast just goes the the gigs that I have just go that's and- interesting because I feel like a lot of people don't narrow it down to a couple of things. And when you just want, like, you trying to do 10 different things, I, for me, I get nothing done. But if I can focus in on a couple of things that I really commit to, I it, it, they end up being pretty successful. Well, if you look at the food thing or the weight thing, that is rooted in a lot of other things. That's television. That's feeling good about myself. That's, uh, you know, I feel good about myself. I'm more creative. All this stuff. I can get out of bed. I can go all day. I can stay all that stuff. So that one thing actually is rooted in a lot of other shit. So yes, it's one thing, but it also helps all this other stuff. I think I went and saw a doctor thing. about the stomach surgery. I actually might get it. Yeah. Well, uh, I I did. I yeah. mean, I'm open about it. I did it five years ago, mm-hmm. and I've kept the weight off and lost more, which is you got. I the... have to say, I'm very proud of myself. Yeah. Because I was like, if I'm going to do this, I am. if I fucking gain this weight back, I'm going to kill myself. Well, which one did you get? I, I got what Lisa Lampanelli did. I saw how much weight she lost, and she's like, you should really go to talk to my doctor. The sleeve. I would not have done the bypass. That's too extreme. Right. I just my, had my stomach made smaller. Right. Um, but it's five years later. I could have, after a year, you can gain it because you start being able to eat more and more and more. So I just... Cut out sugar and flour. I don't eat it at all. I don't eat carbs a lot. Mm. And that's how I've kept it off and lost more. Yeah, I'm going to actually get this three of them. I'm gonna, wh- didn't we talk about this last week? Yeah. 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 What so, are the three? Uh, I, uh, the one you got where they make the stomach smaller. They have the bypass where they bypass your stomach completely and make it the size of an egg or some shit. Yeah, what it's and then they have, what does that mean? Exactly? And then I have the other it's one. extreme, because they, they reattach stuff, and it's yeah. much more, yeah. Gastric bypass. The guy, I'm going to gastric bypass. I'm talking to that doctor, where they actually, they cut your half of your stomach off. Wow. No, that's no, the no, sleeve. That's the one you're no. not doing. I, I would love you to go talk to my doctor. I'm not doing the sleeve. Why? No, there's I'm three sleeve. of them. The, you're not doing gastric bypass. Boss isn't you're doing not the doing sleeve. sleeve. You're doing the other one. What's the other one? Uh, the one and don't talk up. to me with that fucking attitude. What's the other one? I'm so curious. Did you curious. hear the tone? Did you hear tone from uh, Mike? I'm sorry. That was a tone of confidence. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't have that. I feel unsafe. <laughs> if I don't have confidence, you don't. Okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Gabby, which one are you doing? What? <laughs> um, sleep. What's that what is one? that? Like? What is that the called? The duodenal. What is that called? Duodenal switch. That's the bilopancreatic diversion of dual denal switch. I'm not doing that. That's new. I really think you should do the sleeve. We've talked about this. Well, the reason why. It's very simple. I'll tell you why. Because if the sleeve, uh, the percentage of people that gain weight back is very high. 
Mm. A lot of people I know have not gained the weight back. But this other thing, because they cut half your stomach out, the percentages, the the, the cells inside of that stomach. Because the sleeve is cutting half your stomach. I mean, that's what I had done. And Maybe it's laparoscopic. It. They didn't, I. Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Should... I think that's what you're talking yeah, about. I'm about to call my doctor right now. This is the one we talked about last week. Yeah, with the right. yeah. hormone. Doctor Sleeve. Doctor Sleeve. I can't see something. Doctor Sleeve. Yeah, I just want to see my dick again. I'll look at Me it for too. you. Me too. Yeah. Do you want to come in my face? No. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> come on. Nothing weird. I want to. I see. would pay to see that. To see Patreon. Isn't that sick. Put it on the Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. Put it on Patreon. I'll. I'll Hundred dollar yeah. members. <laughs> we'll do it in the shed. It, yeah. it counts. <laughs> Live from the shed. <laughs> Live from the shed. I come on <laughs> Joe's <laughs> face. Glasses. Guest star and Jessica Kirshen. <laughs> yeah, I'll 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 like call the whole thing like a referee. Yeah, yeah, you ref. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it's the sleeve you're talking about, which is what I had, what what Lisa and a lot of people, and it's just much more simple. The bypass is much more complicated. Here's the problem. I saw this girl on Facebook. She just she lost all the weight and she had all that skin, and she went for the surgery. And she was like, li- like literally, fucking in this suit, with drains. I know my, yeah. And I, I, and I, I didn't was like, have that. I don't. You don't have to have this. I never had skin surgery. Yeah. You don't have to have your skin. That's removed. what I'm worried about. That I'm gonna have like this fucking. This. <laughs> I'm gonna look no, like a melted candle. Yeah, no, right? because the, you know what people do? They work out, which I don't do, which right? is ridiculous. Because right. if I did, I'd feel and look a lot better, but. You know, if you work out, especially men, yeah. forget it. You can get your body. I, I, I started working on hired a trainer, but here's the problem with the. I got to talk to this guy about this. Is that he fucking kills me so bad I can't walk for three days. Therefore, I don't work out. He did something with my hips, and I was walking like I had a shit in my pants for two days. So he fucked you. And he it's held like, him. He fucked held me. him real, real tight. He fucked me. He fucked me, and I couldn't <laughs> walk for three days. I don't think that's working out. Well, he he, had me, he puts me up. First of all, I get a little embarrassed because he puts me on this massage bed. It's in so the middle, embarrassing. The middle of this, just this fat person bed in the middle of the gym, and he's fucking pushing my fat legs and stretching I would me out. I never do that. And then he's fucking doing this thing on my butt and... What? And then, then he had me like That's lift like the G- male G spot. Gave, uh. gave you the rosebud. He so. lift my fucking thighs up, and and I, I couldn't walk. My hips were fucked up because he had me lift my legs sideways twenty five times, and then out. It was a fucking nightmare. And then I can't work out. And by the time I can work out again, then I had plastic. Pla- what is it? Plastic Planter surgery. <laughs> <Plant> the- <laughs> plastic <laughs> surgery. I have plantar fasciitis. It? I got it. I got it from fucking the stupid Nikes I wear. What is that? I've had it for years. The plantar fascia is a muscle that goes from your toe to the, your heel, and it gets fucking torn up. Oh, that it's sounds horrible. painful. Yeah. But I'm finally getting a hold of it. Do you know what you do? And I've had it for years, and everyone tried to tell me bullshit, and yeah. it never helped. And then the running store guy, you got to do 10 of these a day, or a couple of these a day, quite a few. Just a little... These things? Yeah. Rub your balls in the mic? Yeah, you got <laughs> <laughs> to rub your balls in the mic. But you got to do uh, toe lifts or whatever. Caps are, and you do like 20 of them a day because it works the muscle. And I got one of those red spiky balls. Mm. And you got to do yeah. it first thing in the morning because what happens is there. your sorry. foot, uh, it's reco- when you're sleeping, it's recovering. Everything gets torn up and broken apart. And then it starts mending back together for the eight hours you're sleeping or whatever. Yeah. But when you wake up, you got to warm it up before you start walking. Otherwise, you're just going to keep fucking it up again. So first, before you get out of bed, you got to work those balls. It costs $6. I actually just... For like I, 10 minutes my, each foot. My trainer told me to put Spring nylons time. on and then fuck yourself with a dildo with <laughs> nylons <laughs> and it curls your toes back. It does the same thing. So it's the same type of thing. That's but, amazing. Ha, ha, know. ha. I had it for years and I'm finally getting a hold of it. I also got customized insult. Not the CVS horse shit. You yeah. got to go to the runner store on 77th and Broadway. Yeah. Well, I got. You have to use someone's name. They're not going to let you in as is. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. You, you Hi, stand. I'm Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they measure your thing. You get the customized yeah. inserts. You rub your feet every morning and you yes. do those toe lifts and you're going to be back in business. Oh, you well, rub also your should feet? Get I rub your surgery. feet? Surgery. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Um, I'll talk to you about it. It's amazing. It's changed my I, whole life. I'm I lost ca- 100 pounds and kept it off. I mean, I was a house. 
<laughs> oh, by I the way, was. I forgot to talk about this earlier. I meant what? to talk about this. I did the, uh, and then I got to go. But I used to come down and do bringer shows. Yeah. And, like stand up New York. I would yeah. drive, like bring four people, and I would drive four high school. It was so long ago that I still had high school friends. Yeah. Aww. Isn't that weird when you have friends? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I drove down one time, and I was doing it, and like, I would come down and kill because it was a bringer show, and I was pretty good because I was working in Boston. And uh -huh. one time I came, and you must have had to go somewhere, and you went on in the middle of the show. And I was all cocky on the way down. I was like, I come down, I kill. And you went up and fucking destroy. It was like stand up New York. This would have been like 02, maybe. And just like murdered. And I was like, 02, I, I was three years in. Is that right? Yeah, maybe I it was 03. In well, you were a killer already Thank because you. I was like, who is this fucking asshole? <laughs> and then I went on. Maybe you were, I mean, I didn't realize you were that. I thought you were like, a 20 year veteran at no, the time. No, that's very sweet. But Thank you, you murdered, and I went up and just ate it and had to drive back. And oh, I was like, I hate Joe, that. Joe, I'm sorry. That's all right. Yeah, you buried me. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. But Jessica, I mean, you killed. Jessica does something different to the crowd. You do, there's a different thing because you're doing five different styles of stand up comedy. That's what Bill Burr has said. But I, I agree. I was talking I do. to Burr about I'm it. I'm not one that's true. I was talking to Burr about it. And I was like, she's, there's, 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 there's the, like I, you, I do a few or a couple, but you're doing like five different things. All of a sudden, you're doing it, and then you're just talking to yourself, and you're not even acknowledging the crowd, and it brings them somewhere else. It's like it's it's improv, it's it's spontaneous, it's jokes, it's energy, it's very calm. Yeah, it is calm it, it, sometimes. It gets uh, it's yeah. So the level of it, and it's fast. There's no there's no breaking in it. You're not sitting there going, um, you're not leaning on anything. You know what's interesting? I I I a lot of times would take it down for the person following me. This is what happened when I was, you know, here for years. People will go, duh, duh. and and then I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I I have kids, I'm trying to make money. I I am not famous. Like I need to do what I do and not worry about the next person. Yeah, no. But a couple of weeks ago, I did the underground and someone was following me and I got off and he's like, ah, leave some re meat for the rest of us. And I looked at him, I go, find more meat. Yes. This was someone who makes millions. Oh, wow. Do you understand? So it's like, if like I'm not there yet. So I need to just do what I do yeah, and be creative course. and not. But I really did. I would take it down a lot. Did you ever do that? She. I never fucking. Took I it did, down. and I still no. do once in no, a while. Fuck you. It's not, I know. Well, first of all, I had to go up and I never, I never got, the, I never got that spot. I always get the spot. I always get the close spot. Always, every fucking show, and everybody's like, "It's an honor." Go fuck your mother. I know. And like I look every, at what you do, Joe. Like, I look at people who write, like, yeah. the way they... And I'm so jealous. I am so... Because I'm not... I don't sit and, like, write. You know, I wish I did. No, but can't. I write There's most nothing. of it on stage. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't... I, I mean, I, I very rarely do I get... I love when I get that fucking... Just before the closer spot, it's like... I'm like... <sighs> like, everything's off my body. Because I... But anytime every... I'm on Friday and Saturday night, I'm fucking closing every fucking show... I look at the, as soon as I get my veils, I see it. I know the time spot. You're going up last, and it's always it's like whatever. Now I don't give a fuck. Now I don't care what you do because I'm just gonna go do my thing, and I'm always gonna do great or fucking murder just as hard. But it it, it is a um it is a settling. It's almost like when you kill like that, you're setting yourself up. I know to have because I used to have that. Nobody wants to follow you. It's like it's cool. But it's also, there's a lot of people that get these prime little spots on the show because they don't do that. Oh, my God. I went up in the middle at the cellar last weekend, yeah. and I have to tell you, it was like a dream. It's, it's it was unbelievable. The third spot. The third I had spot the third Google spot. Ridiculous. Holy shit. I it's think goofy. on two shows I had the third or fourth spot. Yeah. It was insane. It's yeah. goofy. How, I've done it where I, I start laughing because you're killing so hard I that know. you're like, this is hilarious. <laughs> it's like silly. It's to ridiculous. See that many people I like know. this. <laughs> Screaming. It's like, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is crazy. And you're like, why are these people laughing so hard? But yeah. it just, it was, I was set up to do well. It was the spot. Yeah, that spot is a fuck. At the cellar on a weekend, that uh, spot. I've actually been like, look, I'm not, I said it on stage. I'm not this funny. You guys are just stupid. Like yeah. you're just being ridiculous. No, right I now. agree with you about that. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Joe, you got to go. Uh, Joe List, everybody, make sure you go uh, check out his website, Joe List. Yeah, Medium when, Joe when List. Is this, this comes out before Montreal. 
This is coming out this week. All right. Yes. I'll Sunday. be. Uh, I'll Are be you in Montreal? Montreal? Yes. Main what are you doing up there? Theater. Uh, Mainline Theater, the 25th and the 27th. And I'm doing. Are you doing the Bennington thing about anxiety? I am. And stuff? Yeah, we're doing a, a panel, 4 o'clock yes. Friday. About, doing I that. think it's about recovery and anxiety. Yeah, recovery, yep. That's so, great. So uh, we'll be on that. And uh, if you're in, listening in London, <laughs> I'm coming to UK. So <laughs> there's got to be people. I do. I have a couple fans in London. Yeah, I sold 40 tickets the first day, which yeah. to me is amazing, but yeah. they're going to be disappointed with 40. So please, <laughs> get some more people. The Soho, Soho Theater. Theater. How many seats August is it? August 30th and 31st. It's a I don't great know. place. It's a, it's a cool venue. Very cool. I think it's small. I think it's a 100-seater or something like that, maybe. I don't know. It's like a clubbish type thing. Right. And then uh, Acme, one of my favorite clubs ever, August 15th through the 17th. Denver Comedy Works, August 8th through 10th. And uh, Side Splitters. Uh, Side Splitters, August 1st. Through the, yeah, I know there's a lot of... Dudes down there, August yeah. 1st to the 3rd. Yeah, I do very well down. Tampa yeah, treats Kelly Tampa. Wright. And I'll, I'll be on the Calta show, of course. Oh, he's the best. I love him. He's my second best friend. Colin's my first. Yeah, it makes sense. That's a great photo from the other night of you two. I saw uh, it. I don't know where I saw it. On your yeah. Twitter? Yeah, oh, Joe yeah. Russell took that. Oh, I love Joe um, Russell. Hey, he's great. I don't um, know who Joe Russell is. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great photo, though. Yeah, make sure you go uh, check out Joe. He's one of the funniest in the business right now. Swing by the fat black. I'm when? sure they'll throw you up right now. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I'm good. I can't I'm, I'm set. Thanks. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go smoke. You could a probably cigar. not go last. Huh? By the way, if you're wondering at home, I have. I'm, I went to the doctor. No more cobblestones. My cobblestones are gone. What is that? What is that? Do we not talk about this on the podcast? Nope. No. What is I'm that? Of uh, these other podcasts. It's when you have like post you get irritated. You get all the, your throat gets all bumpy and fucked uh, up from reflux. Oh, I'm yeah. on the mend. Awesome. I quit soda four months ago. That's so great. I, I stopped hanging evil. out with Dan too. Fuck him. <laughs> Not bad. Thanks. Uh, all right, Joe. Uh, list everybody. Bye, Joe. I love you guys. Bye. Thank Have you. Have a good Joe. night. Thanks for coming. We're on. wrapping Bye. up, anyways. And uh, and and Jessica, you got a, a brand new podcast. Yes. That's out. Let's go to your dates first. Tour dates. Uh, There's some that aren't aren't there. I just got booked at Montreal, so I'm doing uh, July 26th and 27th, or maybe the 25th. I'm going to be in Maine next week in a gun quit. I'm headlining it. What's in a gunquit? Oh, it's such a great place. Is it? It's a beach town, and I do an amazing cabaret club there. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That sounds fun. The Gotham Comedy Club, one of my favorite clubs. Yep. Hollywood Amview. What is that? Hollywood Avenue. Oh, I'm opening for the Jokers in Chicago. That's that's great. Yeah. Tell Sal, fuck his sneakers. (laughs) Gave me fucking trying to keep up with him and his buddies. I got plantar fasciitis. Trying to fucking wear those little thin Nikes to impress all these young fucking Aww, assholes. We are the best. I'm back at new. I'm New Balance in a nice wide New Balance. Yeah, because that's the way I rock. You should wear a Merrill. <laughs> <laughs> My father wear. I have those. The Merrills are fucking. They're amazing. Uh, we got New Brunswick, uh, uh, Provincetown. Where the fuck is that? Now I'm one? doing it. That's a gay cruise with all gay men. It's amazing. Oh, oh my I'd God. love to for go a week. Town. Three thousand. I mean, gay what men. I say? Three thousand. That's too <laughs> much for me. Well, you know, Mateo's doing it, and Emma Willeman. We're gonna play. I know you love Mateo. <laughs> I love him. I do, I'll too. Fuck, if I was on the cruise with him, I'd wind up just fucking blowing him. Oh, yeah, there's a sex deck. <laughs> What's it's a sex deck? fucking decks? amazing. What is that? There's a deck where guys fool around. <gasps> Ugh, who cleans that up? The, the staff. Oh. It's like March of the Penguins. They all <laughs> jerk each other off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Just... I went up there, I swear to God, because I was like, I have to watch this. This was years ago. And then I, my fr- I said to my friend, what do I do if someone recognizes me? Because I had already done a show. And he goes, just tell them you're a bear. <laughs> a gay what bear. Are you doing that? What, what, what happens when the cruise goes on something that's not gay? You have to just open up a honey bun stand on that deck so people think it's... <laughs> a honey bun stand. What are those stains on you the floor? You know what? It's not as bad as it used to be, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's incredible. Like, I mean, and the parties are the best DJs, the best lasers. But you, you can't even imagine. <laughs> lasers? That's so funny. I mean, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, These people. cruises are like, it's unreal, the parties. All right, and your podcast is called what? Relatively Sane. Relatively Sane Podcast. Uh, follow up. Let's go. Come on, podcast. You fuck. Where are you at? I was trying to find pictures of the gay. Shut cruise. up and just follow the podcast. Stop. You have to look yourself. at pictures. The company. <laughs> I right, will yeah. look after this. Um. All right, we got this podcast right now. Go sign up. Uh, subscribe, review, iTunes. If that's the way you do it, go. Jessica. Jessica is one of the funniest people, and one of the most realist comics I know. 
Thank always you. have been. Always been a fan of you. You know, I'm a. Hu- I mean, I'm not just. I am a huge fan of yours. I've been telling I, you that for 20 I, years. I know. Me, me, and you've been going so, always back to back. Well, because he's. You're so honest uh, yeah. and real. And yeah. I, I remember years ago just watching you and going, "No other male comics are like this." Like you would talk about your real struggles, your relationships, yeah. your. And it, I was like, "This is so refreshing." Right. Instead of just going up and making fun of everyone else, you were right. so honest. And yeah. I loved it. And I, I and, and same to you too. Not to jerk each other off. No, but I I am fucking, honest on stage. Yeah, I really am. You really are. You always go upstage and you fucking. I would sit there and go, "What the fuck?" I love laughing at a comic, but I also love going, "What the fuck was that?" What? Yeah. That that to me is when a comic is really affecting me. When I'm like, I can't believe, I don't even understand what's happening right now. And yeah. you do that all the fucking time. And you've murdered. You Thank murdered you. at Bo- uh, Boston Comics Come Home last year. Was no the year before you were there, right? Mm-hmm. Murdered, fucking that show. That sh- those shows you can't even tell. It's uh, thousands. Of, I couldn't even tell how I did. I know that sounds crazy, I but murdered. It, I really didn't know. Oh, you killed it. I was watching from off stage. I just mean, fucking murdering it. And what Bill did for me is unbelievable. Bill Burr. He, he it's. It's crazy. Yeah, he's he's one. I of the mean, good I ones. was I hadn't seen him in I don't know how many years. I did the benefit for Patrice. He was on the show. He saw me. Mm. Months later, I get a call from him. I I said voicemail. I didn't know who it was, mm. and it was him. And he's like, "You deserve a special. I want to mm. produce your special." I was like, "Oh my god!" If that and I I'm so grateful because I it gave so many comics hope. Yeah. Because I'm older. Yeah. You know, it's on Comedy Central. Yeah. And it just, like, if you have good relationships and treat people well yeah. and work hard, it does happen. Well, you're and it was never easy for me, ever. Yeah. Never. It's never easy for me. Well, it, I, right, I know ones, it's not. The good ones... I agree. It, 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 it's claw- You have to look up and pick up every fucking rock on the beach. I know. Cause s- I've thought of you many times because yeah. we have a similar We have a very thing. similar path. You can kill and kill and kill and kill and be creative and a business person, and it's still... It's so easy for some people, but there, there's a reason for it. Yeah. But it has not been easy for you either. Yeah, it's a similar path, but we we are on a good traje- trajectory yeah. now. So, and 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 Bill's one of the good ones. Ugh. I mean, he's w- probably one of the funniest guy. He's probably the funniest guy on the planet. I right? think to me. so. I've watched him, and yeah. I, I talk about being shocked. I've been like, "What the fuck did he just say?" Yeah. And I can't even. I he's so fearless. Yeah. It's unbelievable. He really is. And I'm I'm glad that me and him are uh, kind of connected again. Him being back in the city, and yeah. We've hung out a lot. Loves you. Yeah. We were at Verzi's uh, barbecue, and we just kind of went around the corner and found a spot to smoke a cigar because we're two old fucks, and we just sat there and just smoked two bats, talking about fucking the back in the day and comedy. We were talking about you, how Aww. funny you are, and fucking you're just a fucking beast on stage and. And uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm glad he's uh, and I'm so glad he's fu- he loves comedy too. Which he's just well, he's su- his company is supporting mm-hmm. a lot of comics that should have careers. Yep. That do- I mean, the one of the I don't go oh I should uh, uh, late night. Uh. I the one thing I was always like why the fuck I mean I didn't have a special. I was like this yeah. is ridiculous. Like that's the one thing I was like this is not fair. That yeah. is not fair that there's people doing it six years and they're they have. A Netflix th- or two specials yeah. coming out, and so when he called me, it just it changed my life. Yeah. I mean, it was the power you can have, and you're like the same way, and I'm like that too. I will always help people that I think are talented and right. work hard. Yeah. Always, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people don't do that now, and it's weird too. It's like when I was trying to get my special, and it's like finally Jim was just like, "Let's just do it." I was like, "Can we?" I go, "Can we not fucking go through the?" He was like, "All right, let's do it," and we did it. And it was great, and and it and it, it came out exactly what I wanted it to be, and people liked it. And then the people that said no wanted it, and that's great too, you know. And yeah, now, whatever, I'm gonna. I don't give a fuck. I'll shoot my own special. I'll do my own thing now. So Who a lot gives of people a fuck? Do now? Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like you can finally do your own shit. You don't have to wait for people to. Well, that is what's happening. Yeah, it's like comics you are helping out comics. Cut industry. I swear to God. It's like cutting out the industry now. Because the industry, God bless you, you have to do whatever you have to do and find whatever demographic you're trying to hit. I get it. That's fine. But it's like Burr was like, fuck demographics. She's funny. She deserves a special. Great. You can do it. Like Schultz just made his own special. Fuck it. 
Oh my God! Look at the, look at what he's doing. Yeah. I mean, these people that are taking it on themselves. And are, he hooked up Giannis, made his special. Right. It's like fuck it, let's just do it. If it's funny, people will watch it on any platform. Who gives a fuck? And if you like, you I said, I think even if it's not, the marketing is the key. The social media, all of that. Yeah, yeah but if if I watched you, if I saw a clip of you and I didn't know you, I'd lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I'd be That's like, very what, sweet. where the fuck is this lunatic been my whole life? It depends on the clip. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Um, all right, listen. We're jerking each other. The fans are like, we get it. Oh. You guys like each other. What? Uh, I worked with her. Well, the first comment I worked with in San Antonio was Jessica. Yeah, who gives so, a shit? Okay. Anyways, no, I was uh, very I'm sweet. And you were very funny that night, that Thank weekend. You, you were. Uh, hopefully it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> you were. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, you. I was one. Of, I thought you said the same thing to me. No, I met you before I started working with people. Oh, you did. Remember, I was just hanging out, and you were I like, le- "Who's this weird guy?" Yeah, he was just hanging out. I electrocuted him at the mall, <laughs> and then I had the guy do a, a sketch of us. What are those guys called? The caricature artist. I had a caricature artist. You did? I yeah. would love to see that. He took me to the mall in the Alamo. Didn't you take me to the Alamo? The River Center Mall by the Alamo. Yeah, by the Alamo, and there was a fucking massage guy that they put electrodes on you, and I put two of them on him, and I I go how. How high does this go? He goes, 10. And I just put him up to 10. And I hit the button. He went, Ting! Ting! <laughs> It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, you all right? He goes, yeah, no, no. I can feel it. Ting! And he just do that. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't stop. And the guy was like, okay, buddy. Okay. I was like, Ting! Ting! Yeah, if I just... would keep pressing, of course. <laughs> and then I and a... he's going to let you because he wants to work with. Did you still have, do you have the character still? Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> you got to bring that in. We're going to frame it. I got to. All right. Uh, Gabby, what do you got besides uh, fucking cool parents? <laughs> I got yeah. nothing. I was going to say all kinds of fucked up shit, but I'd, I'd I know. Be, I'd be, My uh, mind went to crazy. Yeah. yeah I was going to say a huge vagina, <laughs> small little titties, uh, yeah, yeah, they, it's a guy huge. face. Guy face? Yeah. Mm. All right. Because your hair is... You, you look like you look like Jim Florentine if he was younger. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can't believe it. Why would you say that? Um, I have a podcast called Unabashed Podcast that's everywhere out now, and I have a monthly show at the Way Station in Brooklyn, first Wednesday of every month. Go check her out. She's very funny, very talented. Thanks. And uh, what do you got there, Mike 2.0? Uh, I ha- also have a podcast called A Little Time. You can listen to it everywhere. Everybody also, has a fucking podcast. Yeah. Um, and we should just all put them under the same thing and just go, go check out our podcast. Yeah. We should. It yeah. should just all be called podcast. Yeah, just podcast. <laughs> I have podcast. What's yours, podcast? Okay, what do you, what's it called? A Little Time? A Little Time. What's it about? It's just me and my uh, best friend talking to people. It's like this, but worse. <laughs> but worse is yeah. amazing. That was the greatest. Worse, being honest. Yeah. Uh, Cheney, what do you got besides a shitty laugh and a fucking fine disposition? Uh, what does disposition mean? Shut up. Okay, uh, I really don't know what that is. I have a sneaker podcast uh, that you should. <laughs> that, uh, Fuck you. Where we'll discuss Bobby's new selection coming up, and then uh, I'm yeah, doing you... fucking New Balance. I'm doing fuck Mike. Pull my leg up. Pull it up. Ah, those right are there. very good sneakers. Those are good. Do you like those? Those are good. Yeah, really? New Balance yeah. are great. My wife hates them. I screenshotted some that will be acceptable in the circles, and you can still go, ha fuck you, because they're comfortable. Uh, well, There you go, fashionista. Yeah, but I'm spending $300 on a pair of sneakers. No, nah, these, are, these, are like, fashionista. these are like 60 to 80. 60 to 80? Yeah. You send them to me? Yeah, I will. All right, send it to me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sneaker podcast. <laughs> uh, I'm also a designer. You can hire me to make whatever you want. He's uh, really good, Jess. I mean, one of the... I mean, very, Unbelievable designer. Thank you so awesome. much. Uh, not that cheney.com. Oh my God. Please go to my website. Join if you're a member, if you love this podcast, look, we've been doing this for 10 years for nothing. That means zero. Nada. Fucking no money. Okay? <laughs> and you can always get it for no money. Always be free on Sunday. But if you want to support us, if you want to support me and all the other stuff I do, the one on ones, the live from the shed, the sketches I've written and put up there and, and filmed. Uh, and I, I'm planning to do more shit. I'm kind of regrouping in the summertime to shoot at the end. So you Patreon will be getting more stuff. Please go to my Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly and support me there. It's a cup of coffee a month. Okay? Judd Apatow supports me. So you can. If you're a fan of this podcast, go there. Become a member. Uh, and you get the podcast free audio and video always uh, that Thursday. By Thursday, Mike and Zach make it happen. You get it before everybody else. Audio and video version, okay? Uh, you have any complaints or anything you want to know, please uh, email me on there. 
And uh, what else we got, Mike? Your, um, your follow what? you on Instagram at Robert Kelly Live. Yeah, I only go to Instagram. You want to be my friend? Go to Instagram. If you're a dickhead, I'm blocking you. If you say you're not a fu- you're not funny because you block people, then go suck a dick. I don't need. Fi- I'm 48. I don't need to be bullied in my f- late 40s <laughs> by <laughs> fucking dickheads from wherever you are. Did we do your dates already? Do my dates. Everywhere. I'm everywhere. New York. Fat Black Pussycat. Love saying that. Club Soda Montreal. Creeps with Kids Tour. Kicks off in Canada. We got the Laughing Skull Atlanta. One of my favorite clubs. Fat Black Pussycat again. The Slipper Room. I'm doing that with uh, fucking... Mike Cannon. Aaron Putnam. And then, <laughs> and then Fat Black... <laughs> and then I'm at Side Splitters. God forbid you use the fucking headshot! <laughs> You just woke that guy up. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> There's a guy in the other room. Sorry. All right, so there you go to my <laughs> shit. We got to get out of here. Let this guy sleep. There's a guy in the other room. Mike, I know. Uh, I didn't <laughs> forget you. The other stuff. I didn't. Stuff. What other stuff? Follow us at YKW Dude Podcast. Follow yes. Gabby at Gabby is Brian. And follow Mike at Mike D. Suarez. I like this little cute thing you guys are whipping back and forth. We okay. used to do it, and now it's back. Okay, are you guys friends right. again? Eh, I think so. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Uh, I mean, we're not enemies. I know that. Eh? Right? <laughs> I'm more of a well wisher. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, come on. Uh, all right, so Mike, what do you got besides the hairiest arms I've ever seen? Oh, cool. Uh, uh, I won an award in high school. Anyway, did, did you? Yeah. Superlative. All right, good. Come on. Sorry. Uh, fa- um, I'll be at the LF Out Loud in San Antonio with Giannis Papas next weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll be, if you're listening live, uh, Uncle Vinny's next uh, tomorrow and Thursday with Mike Feeney. Oh, oh, there you go. So they got you in over there, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Zach. Zach, the new guy. You guys are the best fans in the world. Thanks for being a part of this. You know what, dude? Every week. Uh, Jess, you're the best. Thanks for having me on. Good luck with your podcast. Oh, thank you for having me on the show. <laughs> you know what, dude? You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.